All right, guys. Hello, everyone. I hope my voice is coming in clear. Uh, let us invite our friends. We just started our podcast again. Uh, the reason we stopped there because in case you want to download, that will make the video shorter, so you can download it faster and easier. And always you can cut that debate, like whatever before, after, take it off again if you want. Uh, Rene, she is trying to make a Muslim call me. And he, uh, she is saying that this guy, he told her he made 42 people convert to Islam. So I said to her, good, maybe he can make me number 43 today. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it's Alibaba and the 40 thief. Right? Let us invite people here and let us need let us do what we need to do with a bunch of flyers. What do you expect, my friend? This is a cult, and uh, don't don't expect too much from follower of lies. And did you notice what he said when he said about the hadith? He said, oh, no, I do not need to do it 10 years. I will give it to you in 10 minutes. Okay, where is the 10 minutes? Where is the hadith? This hadith is weak? Since when? This is weak, my friend. Yeah, not all uh, Bukhari we accept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, where it says weak. Let us see. What do you mean two days to answer the question? You think this guy, he will come back? You must be kidding me. There was a guy like him. He was a sheikh. He was debating me more than 10 years ago. He said, just he want to go to the bathroom. Since then, he never come back. What two days? More than 10, 10, 10 years ago. He just want to go to the bathroom. He said, I, uh, I apologize. I have to go to the bathroom. I have a health condition. Huh? Supposedly he have to go like he cannot wait, you know. I said sure, sure, sure. I said just five minutes, you know. Five minutes. And we are waiting. And we will see if two days will come and this guy will say, Okay, I'm coming back. Yeah. Uh but I hope people they learn how how stupid this cult is. It cannot stand. A smart question for f five minutes, you know, and look at their logic. Why you are a Muslim? He start telling me what did you? But what he said? Oh, because the you know the Christians don't have the book of Allah because it's translated. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, he have many slaves. He, you know, one of his titles is Ba'i al Abid, which means slave seller. He buy and he sell. Uh, you know, uh, the, the brother, you know, the Bible, the Bible, uh, the Torah, and the Injil are not in the original language. So this is the, the, the book of Allah. So what are you talking about, Abdul? I show him reference from his books that the Torah and the, the Injil both they were in the original language in the time of Muhammad and even Muhammad he swear on that and look what he said well we do not know what the Torah he swore on because we don't know if this is the same as today it's not the same as today I said who care if it's today or not because the question was in the time of Muhammad not now they asked him to go and ask the Christians if he is a prophet or not in the time of Muhammad not the Christians today and this was the question you are saying to me I'm a Muslim I feel confident when I woke up in the morning my face is glow when I pray so how come you're a prophet his face is not a glowing and he is uh, in doubt about himself being a prophet you know Anyway, if there is any Muslim, please let me know. We can switch to uh, to Skype if there is any Muslim would like to call me. And please, guys, please, please do me a favor. 
please download the videos and save them make a backup you do not need like uh, you can back up videos in, uh, in in Gmail account it's for free they give you 16 a gigabyte and remember when you download a video from YouTube the file is so small it's not really big because YouTube they convert the file for a very small file uh, so you can make your own library you do not need to take even a space in your computer Well, yeah, me myself, I'm disappointed. You know, I didn't, uh, I wasn't planning that he will, he will go out of business that fast. Just for the sake of fun and education, you know. And you know, if you notice, he was like going to mute. You know why he's going to mute? He's in his chat room, so he's asking for help. You know what I mean? He's asking for help. Yeah, it's a business. I'm telling you, this is a business. You see those Muslims, they, they, they get a salary. They have a good life, those sheikhs. What are you talking about? What what this guy he do for a living? Big Billy, four wives, 70 kids. And who pay for it? The Muslims. Lying to them, claiming that he is a sheikh. And he's a, uh, I, I wanted to see his Facebook so I can show you how, how long his beard. And the funny, I asked him, do you have a Facebook? He said, yes, but um, I have nothing there. I mean, so what you are saying, I have, yes. Mm. Anyway, do we have any Muslim? Uh, very disappointed, very disappointed. Any one of you can invite a Muslim to debate me especially if he's a sheikh that will be a lot better than debating normal Muslims. please I do not need to know who are they I mean I don't mind uh, the bigger is even the better you know what I mean the bigger the better because Muslim believe in size Allah is Akbar what Akbar in Arabic mean bigger right You go blue when you pray. <laughs> I mean, look at this logic, man. When we Muslims we pray, our faces start to glowing, and you're like, I was saying to myself, what this guy is talking about. Honest to God, guys, when Muslims they come from the mosque, it's like I don't want to. I, I don't want to be sound insulting, but they sound like they just came after the of, of a grave. What the glowing? What are you talking about? Yeah, right. Why? Because you just heard a speech about hate. Your face is glowing. Because when he pray in the morning, he say, Oh Allah, don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. I mean, what kind of a prayer this prayer is? The whole world have nothing except the Christian and the Jews. What about saying, Oh Allah, don't make us the same as the Hindus or the Buddhas or the atheists. That's it. Allah, he did not remember any religion except the Christian and Jews. Please, Allah, please. I mean, what a guy is praying to God the first thing in the morning, saying to him, Please, Allah, don't make me the same as the Christians and the Jews. And then Allah, He was saying to him, You see what? If you don't say this prayer, I was going to make you look like exactly like Christian Prince. And the Muslim, He said, Please, no, please, no, please, no, no, like, no way. Don't make us the same as the Christians and the Jews. Show a picture of what? I don't have a mirror in my home. Once I saw myself in the mirror, I get scared. If I go fishing, I don't even throw a hox. I look at the water, the fish die, and they come out. That's you know they, they, they commit suicide. They jump out of the water. I'm telling you. I mean, this is a true story, by the way. I can't find it for you from Sahih Bukhari. Are you kidding me? I go in the airplane, nobody wanna sit next to me. I have my trick right away. I open like uh, start reading my phone in, in Arabic. Right away they see me reading in Arabic, right away you will see the guy is next to me. Uh, can I change my chair? Yeah, go ahead, but let us see if I can find you a chair, you know? Yeah.
do we have any 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 Muslim and guys again don't forget to subscribe to my channel in uh, in Facebook in patreon you do not need to be a person who donate to be in patreon because the Muslims are targeting all my channels they are going crazy I don't blame them so stay on touch keep uh, be updated we lost a channel we never know you know uh, so subscribe and you don't want to donate don't donate just make a name uh, subscribe you know to my channel so you will be updated you will see my my uh, uh, what is the last video because always I post there whatever I'm going to do it's like you know uh, let us say a contact page uh, is the shake is coming to debate yeah two days from now this guy he have no idea what happened <laughs> the debate is over what are you talking about the guy he punched Christian Prince in the face Christian Prince he lost his teeth don't you see don't you notice how I'm talking usually I say Christian Prince now I'm thinking Christian Prince you see me at the Christian Prince I understand that I can't have a white kind of tough weakness and because I still think of you live that there this is after the debate. The funny guys that Muhammad he lost all his teeth in the beginning of Islam. So how this guy was able to recite the Quran and the Muslim understand it? He lost all his teeth. Imagine because at the end, all days you cannot put a fake teeth. You know that, right? So how Muhammad was reciting the Quran and people they understand. I remember, you know, when I was a kid, I have my grandfather. He was brushing his teeth in the front of the mirror. Uh, but he's brushing his teeth in a different way. I never saw this before. He stand, stood in the front of the mirror and he moved his mouth like, you know, and some, and his teeth came out. Like, what? What? So I put a chair and I climbed in the front of the mirror. And I spent like 15 minutes trying to get my teeth out. My mom, she walked by. And she looked at her son, the kid, is moving his mouth right and left. And she said, are you okay? What are you doing? I said, uh, I cannot get my teeth out. <laughs> oh, boy. I wonder what the sheikh is doing right now. He's trying to get his teeth out because they turned very yellow. Do we have any Muslim? Um, uh, Renee, I think this guy is not coming anyway. If any Muslim here, let me know so I can turn my Skype on because I have still my pal talk, hoping that a Muslim will call me because Renee she said she have a Muslim for me. Guys, the debate is over. It is in the other video, the previous video. So if you want to watch it, you can go to the previous video. It's over. It did not take long. The 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 shake he retreat. He retreat with the humiliation. So don't forget to click at the video before this one. This one just started now because we don't want it to make the other one long so you can download it. So the debate is already in the previous video before this one. Yeah, uh, Rene, she is trying to get me someone. And you know, guys, do you know why they are, they are accepting to come from Rene? Because she is a young girl. You know those uh, Muslims they want to play the macho guys like a girl she's asking him do you want to debate you know a young girl sure yeah <laughs> come on <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> absolutely <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah all right uh, it's taking him a while he's coming he's coming guys the guy is saying he's coming so we will have a new debater soon Do we have any any question? Anyone have a question? Do we have any question? Any person have a question? Don't forget, please, to subscribe, and don't forget to subscribe uh, uh, to my to my page in Patreon. 
uh, in Facebook so always you can keep in touch uh, for sure if you like to support what we do your support is needed after a few weeks from now I have a trip and I will stop by in Europe so we need your help for that trip Roma has a question okay should I answer you before you ask me the question because we are up we have an ability to answer the questions before you give it to us uh, brother why don't you bust him by just translating Arabic N no you see I, I did uh, speak Arabic guys didn't I speak Arabic because he said an excuse that he cannot understand the question first in English, right? But this is a lie. His English is fine, very fine. You can tell this guy is speaking very fine. And I did speak to him in Arabic. I did give him the question as an Arabic, as a, so that, so he will not have an excuse that he will say I did not understand. I did, you know. Yeah, my book uh, Six and Allah is going to be out maybe in forty-eight hours from now in Amazon.com, on Amazon, etc. In Europe, so. Uh, uh, 48 hours uh, Monday Tuesday something like that the book will be out now what I will do I will change the price for the book for maybe two hours three hours after I inform you and then whoever get it first he will get it for a very the maximum discount I can give let us say it's a gift from me from those who support me and they come here always uh, so because you know still there is a minimum I cannot go lower because if, uh, 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 Amazon uh, I'm printing it through a company which is connected to Amazon so they have to get the price of printing and their fees etc so I, I will put it in the maximum which means from my side but still from their side they have to make some money uh, well the book is very simple it's about sex sexuality in Islam uh, I start in volume number one about sexuality before Islam about the Arab to give you an uh, uh, like a kind of introduction for the Arabs uh, sexuality and then we go to Islam and Muhammad life etc and the teaching of Islam uh, it is two books uh, but they are not big uh, and the purpose of me not making it so big because um, as long as I can get the point straight and I can give you enough reference to destroy anyone when I talk about something have to do with this topic that's it so uh, because the, the bigger the book is the more the price will be big because the more pages you add the more they will charge for printing so I, I tried my best to keep it smaller as much as I can and enough for you in the same time uh, to get to get a handy reference in your hands so the first book speaking about Islam and sexuality uh, Islam and earth Arab before Islam the pre-islamic era then the muslims then in book number two we we continue talking about muslims sexuality and then we go to heaven sex and heaven in islam so you will have a lot of reference you never heard before here uh, because it's getting dirty uh, just to let you know don't give a don't give those uh, books to a kid all right You want to have a story of my book? What about read the whole book for you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I think if you live in Indonesia, I think there is somebody he got my book in Indonesia. But uh, the way you do it, uh, I think. You better order somebody who's abroad and he's coming home. He just put it in his bag, cover it, you know. Take the cover off of the book. Do we have any Muslim? For those who they are asking when the debate will start, the debate has started and over already. Watch the video before this one, please. All right? We we stop in that video because uh, we don't want the video to get longer. So you guys, you can download it and share it with your friends. And please download the video, not only share link. You see, 
in my case I'm not looking for subscribers I'm looking for spreading knowledge and truth this is why I keep asking people please download my videos because I am I don't care really if I have one subscriber or if I have a million if I can reach to the million through you even better because you have your friends etc you can share so uh, download the videos and consider the video as yours Someone is waiting for me in Skype. Okay, then let me let me go in Skype. Hold on. Should I should I be worried about this guy coming? Do you think he's a strong type? Give me give me some hint. Is he strong? Because always I prefer to debate a weak. Okay, let me go in Skype. All right, we are in Skype already. Let him call me. Yeah. Okay. Someone here said uh, they tried to call a human something or other. What does that mean? Muslim. Who is the Muslim want to call me? My Skype is open. Can you read the Quran chapter 110, 120 in English? My friend, if you want a question, if you have a question, let me know. But reading the verse for you, what I would do, I mean, you can read it yourself. If you have a question, ask me. Yeah, uh, you know, this guy, his night is very sad. But, you know, I understand, you know, they, they, they think that they are going to meet a Christian who will ask them why the Prophet Mary Aisha you know like this same everyday question you know he was not expecting this once the Muslims they made an article says uh, if you if you ever debate how to debate a Christian prince if he asks you any question, never say yes, never say no. Even if he said the prophet was a good man, do you agree? Don't say yes. <laughs> never say yes, never say no. Because he will trick you. There's a trap, a brother. A brother. Even if he said to you the prophet was a good man, don't say yes. Like, what the heck? A Muslim, he don't dare to say the prophet was a good man? Yeah, because after that he will say to you then what happened here then you know don't say no don't say yes yeah any abdul say nothing say what the, the sheikh said did you see what the sheikh said I will come back after two days with the answer. I mean, have you ever heard of a sheikh? Will take him two days to answer a, a, a question? Why two days? I mean, what we ask him to, to make a nuclear weapon? Huh? What two days? This is, and I, do you, I remember I told you this is a guy, a sheikh. He has a long experience of debating Christians. He's doing this for a long time. He has his room. Two days, huh? Let us see if this is what will happen in two days. And I was very kind with him, very gentle. You know, I wasn't harsh. 
like I was going to him I, I was going to say you are a liar you know I was honestly when he said to me the hadith is weak but I hold myself you know because he's a lot he's a liar but I hold my tongue I said no no you know we don't want to give him excuse to flee so I did not say that to him yeah he's coming I'm telling you, I've never been more polite like this. You know? Sometimes I, I say to myself, like, come on, shut up, shut up. Uh, let me let me restart my computer. The excuse is did you hear him? He is flipping pages. Did you did you hear the pages? He's flipping the books, trying to find a solution for what happened. But you cannot do that with me. What actually if he answer more he will be even more in trouble because the more he answer the more he have the more I have rocks You know, what I mean When a Muslim he answer more and, But he got an he got the idea this guy. I Just said nothing and he made a case. I just said nothing. He just asked me what you are you are a Muslim <laughs> I did not debate him about anything yet Oh, anyway, no, this is how you debate Muslims. You don't use your rocks, you use their rocks. You know, once I went to a friend's house, and this guy he just bought his house, and his house is like he got it early, like the whole area is not done yet. So he have a lot of rocks in the front of his yard. David, all right, hello. Yeah, hello, CP. Hey, David. How Good are evening. You? Good evening, my friend. Yeah, this is David. Good to have you, David. How are you? Yeah. Uh, well, um, I really enjoy the uh, the debate, but it's uh, quite unfortunate that um, the Sheikh or what's he called himself, he ran away. Uh, <laughs> well, what you because can do? Uh, well, it's not easy to defend that bit of a, to be honest. Because uh, when you look at it, the guy just fabricates everything, and all these idiots, they just, I don't know how, how people can believe in such stupid things there that um, in the book, it says, oh, I will, I will, you will never forget this. Then in another chapter, I said, I will cause you to forget it. That's clear contradiction. So the guy was just trying to play on the words, and uh, I wrote it in the comment there that uh, the guy will have excuse about English. and. And eventually the guy said it, it's English even before he said it I said the guy would lie about English he would blame it on English and uh, eventually he did well well um, it's good and uh, it's good that you're educating people and you let people see all these um, idiots how they uh, they lie to people about their stupid religion uh, um, thanks for everything um, I'm still there waiting to see if there's any Abdul that will come and that will keep supporting you in all the ways we could be. So thank thanks, you. CP. Thank you, David. And thanks for God bless, yeah. my friend. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, bye. Take care. Uh, somebody he said that obviously he did not understand. You know his English is not good. Go in the beginning of the video and you will see that he was answering me in a fluid English. In words, me myself, I do not know them. Correct, guys. He was using a very fluent English. Yes, he have an accent. I have an accent. There's a huge difference between you have an accent and you know, and by the way, Renee is here and she told him that he would debate me in English. He's a liar. And the girl who spoke to him, she is a person who don't speak Arabic. Okay, we have a Muslim here. Let us see, let us call him. Or let me make him call us. So he will not say we are chasing him. <clears throat> Yes, he's asking me, are you a friend of Renee? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Yes, uh, Mr. Ibn, how are you? Um, uh, well, how are you? Uh, very fine. Welcome to our program. You know, we have a lot of people here on YouTube. 
and uh, we would like to hear from you something good about Islam. So what do you like to tell us? I heard that you converted 42 people to into uh, into Islam. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. All right. Maybe today you can make me number 43. Go ahead, please. What's 43 this? I mean, you just say, you told them that you converted 42 people into Islam. So I'm saying maybe you can make me number 43 who convert to Islam. Uh, okay, why not? Sure, go ahead. Inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Go ahead. Okay, uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. By the way, who are you first? Uh, my name is a Christian. Should I show you my ID? No, 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 okay. no, no. I, I, I'm not. Uh, okay, but uh, but where are you from? Uh, you know, depend. Right now, I am in America, so I am in America right now. But what, what, your original from America? Well, are you American original? No, originally I am. Uh, yeah, I am from India. India. Yeah. Uh, okay, nice. Yeah. And you uh, wait. You said you go to to YouTube. Yeah, I go to YouTube. Sometimes YouTube come to me. I don't know the demand. My friend, what does this have to do with our topic? Go ahead. Tell me something good about Islam. Did you uh, reward my, my sound? Yes, every, everybody. Sound? Everybody. Uh, we are in no, YouTube. No, no, no. no, no. We, we are live no, no in YouTube. No recorded, please. Oh, well, you have to hang up then because because this is in YouTube. We are live on air. No, right no, now. because because, be, 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 because I, I I do not uh, like that. Okay, don't. When, then, when, okay, when, uh, then hang uh, up. Okay, hang I up. I do not. Okay, take I care. I do not like care. famous. All right, no problem. But, 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 you don't like to way, be famous. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but by the way, uh, my friend uh, Christian, I said uh, first, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. And Thank uh, you. and uh, inshallah, you are uh, humble, and uh, I'm not here to to uh, to insult Christian. No problem, you, no you problem, my, my friend. If you want to stay and, with uh, us, my friend, and, even even. If you want to stay with us, yeah. the, the issue is you are saying you don't like to be recorded. We are live on YouTube, and this is not a choice. So if you don't like to be recorded, yeah. please hang up, hang up. Uh, uh, otherwise, stay with us, and then people will hear you. We have more than almost 225 people listening right no, now. No, no, I, I do not track. I, I do not track. Uh, okay, no, take care. I, okay, I take care. Okay, take care, my friend. Assalamu alaikum. Bye-bye. You don't want to be famous. You are famous already. Where are you from? Why are you calling back? Yes, uh, uh, Ibn. I thought you don't like to be famous. Hello? To be famous, um, I, I want to discuss you. My friend, but I if, want to tell if you, you want to talk to me, you will be recorded because right now I am live in YouTube. I am live in YouTube. No, 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 no. What I, I can do? I mean, this I is the only way. So don't don't call me then, my friend. Don't call me. I am live in YouTube. Okay, People are okay. hearing us. Okay. If you want, okay. If you, nice, if you, nice, if, you, nice. if it's okay for you to be recorded and to be in YouTube, friends, you, uh, you are Christian, welcome. Christian, no, yes. nice, nice. You tell me that the truth. I, I, I like that and nice. Yeah, nice. No, no I thought my friend. She told. Uh, she told okay. you already because we are live in YouTube, my friend. We are not. Uh, uh, playing games. Thank you. We are live on YouTube. If you like Thank to stay, you. you are more than welcome. But 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 but, but, but uh, uh, Christian, why why do not uh, ask or discuss about uh, about the Christians and Islam? We can uh, without uh, famous. You, you we, see, we, uh, we, my we, friend, we, my we, friend, I am here to talk to the people who they are my friends. I have more uh, almost three three hundred people are there, so I'm talking to them. I don't know who. I don't know you. You mm. are coming to call me or not? I'm talking to them already, and I, it's going to be rude from me to hang up on them and just to talk to you. I mean, I have imagine you have a house, you have a 300 people, you are talking to you, and then you say to them bye bye because I have even I want to talk to. You know what I mean? Wallahi, sure, sure, yeah, 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 Prince, yeah, I understand. When and but but you want to help, please help first yourself, and like my like, like I, I am when when I want to help, I, I directly I will help myself. No problem, my, you, my friend. You, when, my when, friend. When, when, when you died, when you died, you go to hell or you go go to paradise. Yeah. Okay. That was that what what, what I said. You, you know, my Islam, friend. Islam. Why why come Islam? Hmm. Islam. Why come Islam? Islam come to hmm. worship of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And, and who is Allah? To do more, who, more, who is Allah? Okay. Who is Allah? That's hmm. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said. Who is? Uh, me and you worship Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala living in, in, in sky. In sky. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu okay. wa ta'ala ala arsh istawa. Okay, what what istawa mean? What istawa mean? 
وات وات على العرش يستوى مين؟ على العرش يستوى ذات مينز اوكي يو نو عربك؟ يا اي سبيك عربك فور شور انت هل انت عربي؟ يو نو اي تولد يو ذات ماي فريند ام اسكين يو نو وات يستوى مين؟ ار يو سربرايزد؟ يو مينشن سمثينغ تو مي نعم 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 الله سبحانه وتعالى yeah. الله سيد ليس كمثله شيء وهو السميع العليم نو ذيس نوت ذا كويشن الله سيد يو ماي فريند يا 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 ذات ميز هو از الله نو الله يو سيد الله على العرش استوى الله على العرش استوى وات از ذات مين يو ار ذا ون هو مينشن ذيس هي از استوى اون ذا ثرون وات استوى مين والله شوف ما ما فريند دو يو وان تو تو تيل مي تيل تو تيل يو ان ان انجلش يو كانت اندرستاند نو نو تيل مي اي انديرستاند دونت وري تيل مي ان انجلش وات ستوى مين ترانسليت بليز بيكوز اي انديرستاند از اي انديرستاند نوت ايفن سنجل مسلم نو وات از ذات مين سو واي يو ار سينج تو مي ذات الله هي ستوى على العرش وان وي اس ذا مسلم وات ستوى مين نوبادي نوز نو 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 هو تيل يو هو تيل يو ذات اوكي نو نو جيف مي ذا انسر جو اهيد جيف مي ذا انسر وات ستوى مين اوكي اوكي نو Now, uh, uh, by the way, hmm. I I I I discuss I discuss you because you are you are a believer. Hmm. You are not atheist. Right, I'm not an atheist. You know, absolutely. you know that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. When okay, when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, uh, I want to talk in an Arabic. You want uh, you understand Arabic? My friend, you see. You said that. Yes. Uh, when you spoke to Rene, the the girl, he, she invited you here. She said. That you were listening to me in live broadcast in her room, so you know I speak English. You know that it was in English, and you agreed to come to speak in English. And now you want to speak in Arabic. So please explain to us in English because okay, all, no, no, no. all my audience are English people. They don't speak Arabic. I'm the only one who speaks little Arabic. So what the word "stawa" mean? Okay, nice. Our uh, first when when I said. الله ان هولي قران سيد الرحمن على العرش استوى اوكي اوكي الاستوى ذات 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 وات سيد ان انجلش ذات صفه فعليه للرب سبحانه وتعالى يو انديرستاند نو وات ذات مين ستيل يو نوت جيف مي انسر وات استوى مين استوى صفه فعليه للرب سبحانه وتعالى وات ذات مين What what is the position? What he's doing? He's, he is sitting. He is standing. Yeah. What is what is what does that no, mean? No, no. Uh, okay. Means okay. Means means okay. I want to tell you. Hmm. When I said this land, this land, you you said no. This is land uh, about me. Okay. I, I I said give me your. your when I said uh, for example when 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 you say this house, it's me. Okay. And I said give me your proof. You what? Give me papers. This is this is house is you. Okay, you understand now. That means in in Arabic means al istila. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala ala arsh istawa. That what means? What uh, you know, my friend. What al arsh istawa? What istila? This is this is a, a throne. He jump on the throne. How he jump? What he do? He is he standing? Is he sitting? Is he sleeping? Explain to us. You did not tell me until now what istawa mean. And I am telling you, not even one Muslim in the whole universe can tell me what does that mean, because you Muslims are afraid to say that Allah is sitting in the throne. Is that correct? Is he sitting? Is he standing? No, 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 no. Okay. So Allah now in the throne. What what this verse saying that Allah is on the throne. How he is in the throne? It says istawa. What does istawa mean? Sitting, standing, sleeping. Give me an option. Okay, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. ليس كمثله شيء. This is not the question. How can I? Uh, how can I? Uh, no, 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 no. I want to answer you, but you do not uh, want to to uh, to to that road. Allah say, Allah la, no, do not sleep. My friend. By the way. My friend. This and, is not the question. And, and, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you cannot, you cannot, <coughs> you cannot uh, believe him. Not, not believe him. You cannot uh, ask about how Allah Subhanahu. Not like not like Bible. When Bible says, uh, so you cannot, so Bible you cannot. Okay, let us make it I'm simple. Tired. So you do no, not no, know. No, no, no. So you no, do not no. know. You are, I, you, I asked you how Allah when, is sitting in the chair. I, I asked you how. I yeah, Ibn, Ibn, Allah, listen, listen. No, you do not know. Okay, I'm how Allah is sitting in the chair? Let me repeat the question. You said to me, no, uh, uh, no one is like Allah. This is not my question. I don't know. I don't care if Allah, no one like him or not. I'm asking you how he is sitting in the chair. Can you tell me? Instead of giving me all this speech, you do not yeah, know. Ma, ma, yeah, a Christian, a Christian. Are, are you are you Arab? 
My friend, it doesn't matter where I'm from. It doesn't matter where I'm from. What does that have to do with the question? No, no, no. Yeah. You, no, no, because you are, My you're, friend, you're Lebanon. I speak, you are no Arabic. I speak Arabic no, better, no, better than anyone you ever heard of. This is yeah. not the question. I'm asking you now, what does Tawa mean? What does Tawa mean? Istawa means istila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does that mean? You say, guys, I say to him, what does Tawa mean? He says, Allah Stawa. This is not the answer. What is Istawa mean? What Allah did? Allah in the throne doing what? What is that exactly? Istawa, what he's doing? He's riding the throne. He is sitting on the throne. He is laying down. Okay. He is doing yoga. What does Tawa mean? I want to tell you. Uh -huh. Okay, Al Kursi, Al Ladi Wasi as Samawati wal Arf. Lemawab al Kadamiya. وما يقدر لها القدر العرش الذي الذي خلقه ممتاز. What does have to do with my topic? طيب. Okay. ال Okay. Now the Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyin said the Arsh is what is placed on Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And the Kursi is a seat of his feet. According to Ibn Abbas رضي الله عنه, the Kursi is a seat of his feet. Can you translate? Okay. طيب. Can you translate it, please? You, are, you, you know Arabic. My friend, the audience, but all, all the people Arabic. on YouTube, I have okay. Okay. I have 300 people on YouTube I... listening. They want to understand what you said. Go ahead in English, please. So Allah, he no, said, no, no. Allah so is in the chair. Please. You said Allah is in the throne and his, his feet uh, are in the my, chair. My, what does that mean? He's reclining. He is my, doing my, yoga, my, massage. My, my, my friend, my friend, please, no, no YouTube. My friend, no, I am in YouTube you are, already. You don't want to talk, hang up. I told you from the beginning, I am no, in no, YouTube. No, no, no. No YouTube, no. It's not a chance. You can then hang up. You are trying to to escape the answer. You see? <laughs> you see, guys? I ask him, what's the mean? Uh, Allah is nothing like him. Like, oh, so what does this have to do with my? Allah is nothing like him. And then he said to me in Arabic that the Sheikh Ibn Uthameen, he said that Allah is on the throne and his feet on the chair. What the heck? Is that a beach? Allah is on the throne and his feet is on the chair. So now we have a throne and we have a chair. Are they two? And this guy, he converted 42 people to Islam, brother. If you are a person who converted 42, I don't know what 42, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure, maybe 42 cats, meow, how? I did not say anything. He is the, he is the one who mentioned this. I said to him, "Why you? What is Islam?" He said, "Allah, who is Allah? Allah is the one who is ala al arsh istawa on the throne. He did istawa. Okay, what istawa mean? There is not even a single Muslim between all those Abdul in the world. He can answer this question. You believe it? They cannot. I did not even start the debate yet. I did not ask a question. I just asked him. He just said something. I said to him, "What you said." My friend, listen carefully. When you speak to a Christian prince, you better be careful. You better not even to use the alphabet because even if you say A, I will get you a question about it. A question will make you sorry. Right now, as we speak, I challenge any Muslim to give me three words. Three. You see the challenge? And I will give you a story will make your prophet look fool and funny. Three words. Just three. Anything. Anyone? Please, please, no YouTube, please. So we, we told you from the beginning we are in YouTube. Yeah. Do we have any Abdul? No, my friend, Roma, don't be proud of me. Proud, pr proud that we have a Christ and he is the best. Don't be proud about anyone. Who am I? You know, I am I'm, I'm a sinner man. I'm nothing to be proud about. No good but God, my friend. Proud that you are a person who have the best of the best. There's only one name you can trust. That is the name of the Messiah. This is why I call myself Christian Prince. I cannot find better name than his name to be my name.
Islam is a stupid religion and any other not only Islam you see I, I discuss I, I, I went to a Buddha temple you see the Buddha temple and those are very you know that Buddha by the way supposedly they are kind right but you should see when I start asking questions you know nobody this guy almost is going to throw to, to throw me in the hellfire you know uh, you cannot find something better find me better than Christ and I will follow him just try I mean keep trying Muhammad al Kabari, okay. Do we have any Muslim here? Any Muslim would like to call us? No, those Muslims, those Muslims, you know, Islam is a religion of like copy paste. Nobody understands what he's talking. You know, they are like a like a recording machine. You push the bomb, they have they have already answer. Who is Allah? Bismillah, Allah, Man, Allahim, Auzu Billahi Min Al Zaytan Al Ladim, La Ba Lalim. Okay, what Lalim mean? Uh, let me start. Bismillah, Allah, Man, Allahim, Auzu Billahi Min Al Ladin. My friend, I'm asking you what Lalim mean. Bismillah, Allah, Man, Allah. They don't know. It is a recording machine. It's like when you go in the elevator, some elevator, they have like, you know, please uh, take, take attention from the door, stay away, like you go in the train, right? It's the same. It's a program. You ask the question, you don't ask the question, it's the same answer. The second you 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 try to go deep in the you know they have no idea what they are talking about. Here we go. He's quoting for me a verse the same as the Sheikh. And those people they are claiming to be like uh, knowledgeable people. You know they are they are people of knowledge. If those are the people of knowledge, this guy he claimed that he converted forty two people. Uh, Darius is asking me it was a debate really bad he will lose his career go and watch it uh, Darius it's in the previous video go watch it go watch it it's, it's there and download it before before we take it down later I'm going to take most of my videos I will hide them and I have my own reasons so uh, uh, please download the videos you think it's important for you all right Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Who is next? Allah is on the chair. And what Allah in the chair? Oh, Sheikh uh, Al Uthaymin, I suppose the Sheikh Al Uthaymin is a big fat uh, potato, you know? Sheikh Al Uthaymin, he said, yeah, what he said, that Allah is in the throne and his feet is on the chair. Have you ever heard of a God like this? He is in the throne and his feet on the chair. What does that mean? So now we have a we have a chair and we have a throne. So what what is the chair? Is like something you put it in, under your feet? And what does have to do with my question? I'm asking you what the word istawa mean. Those Muslims they are afraid to say that Allah He sat down. You know, as Samad. Uh, other problem, you know, as some of the Muslim they don't know as some every every Muslim he give you different interpretation for the word as some because simply the summit is an Aramaic word. But we are giving them a chance. Yeah, I just received a, a text from a Catholic nun. You know, remember the Catholic nun? She called me before. I, I think she is here with us. She said she she have me in her prayer. So I want to say to you, thank you, sister. I appreciate you to have me in your prayer. All right. 
and don't forget to pray to God to send me more Abdul. I mean, they are needed. <laughs> uh, well, you know, uh, about the Sheikh, he will lose his job. I don't know what will happen, but now he will. He have to to find a reason for what happened. I mean, you see, at the end of the day, Muslims are a human being like like us. They might lie to themselves, they might etc. But obviously, Islam got busted, not him. But the Muslims usually what they do, they don't want to admit that Islam is a stupid. They will try to make it that he is the stupid guy, so he will be a victim. You know what I mean? When you go and you make a debate like this and you give answers like those the muslims they will not admit that it is islam is the problem they will say oh this sheikh he is not good or oh, maybe christian prince he paid him right yeah just say just say anything to me and you will see you will be sorry i mean it doesn't matter what you say Allah is on the chair. Oh, what does that mean? They don't know. Any Muslim have a question? The same as, you know, let, let me show you. Hold on. Just to give an example. When, uh, when, when the when the Arab and the family of Muhammad, they laugh at Muhammad and his stupidity. How Muhammad he answered them? Read this, chapter one eleven verse number one. I mean, how is stupid the one who wrote this chapter? This is a chapter in the Quran. It's called Al-Masad. What Al-Masad mean? It is hilarious. This is God talking? M Muslims, they claim that this guy is the uncle of Muhammad, supposedly. Some of them, they say, no, he is not uncle. But majority, they say he is the uncle. The uncle of Muhammad and his wife, they used to make fun of Muhammad. And the wife of this man, she used to call him Mudammam. Mudammam. You know, the Mudammam is uh, how to translate that to English. You know, if there is somebody is the most dirty, filthy, um, trashy person in town, in town, they call him that. So the wife of Muhammad, she don't call him Muhammad, she call him Mudammam. All right. So Muhammad once he starts shouting, Come, everybody, everybody, everybody. And people they like they thought there's an attack on them or something, you know, suddenly, like in the early morning. So they gather, and Abu Lahab, this guy who isn't here in this verse, he came with them, the uncle. So Muhammad, he started telling them, I am a prophet of Allah. You better listen to me. You know, like stupid things. So the guy, he said to him, Tabbat yadak. Tabbat. Tabba Muhammad. It's like an insult. Stupid. You go, you gather here for in the early morning for this. So Muhammad, he want to take revenge. He went home and he claimed that Allah, he gave him a verse. Allah is saying the same. Oh, nothing showing on the screen. Sorry, I did not notice. Okay, thank you for telling me. It's a technical error. <laughs> Berish, uh, by the way, the, 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 even the translation is funny. You see, Muhammad, even the Muslim, they changed the name of the, the uncle of Muhammad. They call him the father of the flame. <laughs> Okay, guys, I get it. I got it. There's a, there is a screen now. So, have you ever heard of God? He speak like this. Damn the hand of the father of a flame. Damn he. No profit for him from all his worth. The guy is worthy. 
and all in this burn soon he will be in a fire of a blaze in a flame his wife shall carry crackling wood <laughs> as a fuel <laughs> this is god this is two women they are fighting each other in the old days she said to her you are fat and you are ugly and the other one she said to her oh look at your ears the other one she says look at your look at your lips they look like uh, you know and the other one this is god god he is talking about a guy i mean who is this guy and and the wife she will carry she will have a necklace around her made it from wood this is what god speak a twisted rope of palm leaf fiber around her neck. <laughs> That's deep. That's seriously deep. This is God speaking. All right. Yes, David. Yeah, hello, Sipi. Yeah, David, go ahead. Yeah, well, uh, there's a guy on the... the uh the chat uh <laughs> mm -hmm. he said he want to call you he gives uh what's his called his um um his skype id his name is uh sulaiman or maybe or something like that i think it's nigerian guy he can call so me i think maybe if he didn't call you maybe you can call him okay what is your name sulaiman give me your nickname and i will call you no problem post your name please I will yeah, call his you. name is uh, sulaiman no, no i know he but he, he need to give me call you. he need to so. give me his id in in, uh, in skype so i can call him yeah Okay, thank you, David. Thank you. He, he put his ID on the on the debate, so you. He so, put it. He put it. I don't see it. If somebody have his ID, uh, copy paste for me, please, so I can call him. So right. I call yeah. him. Okay, thank you, David. Thank you for telling me. Okay, I will check. Thanks, yeah. Bye. All right. All right. Bid thirty-five. No problem. Be sure you are online, please, so I can call you. Let us search. Okay, Mr. Suleiman, answer, please. Hello? 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 Hey, Mr. Suleiman, how are you doing? Hello? Yeah, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but the volume is a little bit low. Oh, okay, let me get closer to the mic. I'm, I'm very short, by the way, so this is why. Because right. I'm, do you I'm hear me better? Do you hear me better now? Because I'm very short. Yeah, Sometimes I don't reach the mic. All right. So, okay, what do you want to tell us, Mr. Suleiman? You said you call, you want to call me and talk to me. Yes, about this I now. was following your conversation with the sheikh. All right. <clears throat> In the first place, mm -hmm. um, the sheikh claimed that somebody told him mm -hmm. that you guys were going to speak in Arabic. But it seems that he is unable to articulate his points okay. in English. I don't think so, because if you watch from the beginning, you will find that he is speaking fluently in English. No, 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 no. I watched; he wasn't fluent. You can't call that fluent. Okay. Even I'm not a native speaker. Of my English, friend, my friend, are you, are you a Muslim? First fluent. of all, first of all, the person yeah. who invited him, the person who invited him, she is a person who speak English only. And she don't speak Arabic, and he knew that very well. And she told him, "We well, are inviting you to debate a Christian prince who have an English channel." And she mentioned that to him, and he agreed. So the story of English, it is not true. This is why in the first uh, fifteen minutes he did not mention he don't like it to be in English. You know? No, he, no, 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 no. Please, I followed it. He initially, you know, he wanted to start speaking Arabic to you, but you told him that he should speak in English. No, no, but he, but he did agree, and he continued, right? So he is yeah, capable, he did, he did and we told him, and we point. told him, we told him, we understand you very well. And then he uh, he yeah. asked me to say the question in Arabic, right? 
and he still he don't want answer he did not say I don't understand the question my friend he said give me two days so what are you talking about okay um, you asked him a question do you have an answer for it yourself yes I have an answer okay go ahead you, please. which which verse of the Quran you cited give it to me so how you have a question you have an answer for it but you do not remember what okay we're you said a new crook of Allah tense I know it from mm. head but I, I don't I don't remember the, uh, the chapter 87 verse number I think six or seven something like that. okay so in your in your question mm. chapter 87 number what uh, chapter 87 verse number six number six thank mm. you very much mm. so your question was that if uh, if the Quran mm. says that Sanikru Kafala Atansa we shall recite unto you and you shall not forget mm -hmm. now you now went into an hadith Bukhari mm -hmm. where you cited that um, the prophet somebody recited the quran and the prophet remembered um under the same hadith there are other different hadith mm -hmm. and the same sahih bukhari mm -hmm. that speaks against forgetting the quran mm -hmm. so the fact that an hadith is sahih mm -hmm. even if it is coming from bukhari mm -hmm. or muslim or abu Dawood, mm -hmm. the position of islam is that and hadith cannot contradict the Quran. Why? Because the hadith were collected several years between 200, 250, 250 to 300 years after the death of the Holy Prophet. So you are saying anything is collected 200 years after the death of the Prophet is rejected. Is that correct? The, what, what I'm telling you, don't put words into my mouth. Okay. What I'm saying is that it is so if an hadith contradicts the Quran, mm -hmm. the hadith. Will be rejected. The Quran says in mm. Surah Al Jashiyah, mm. "Tilka ayatullah natluha alika bil haq, fa bi ayi hadithin bada Allahi wa ayatihi yuminun." So even the Quran itself is an absolute hadith. And Allah is but he was not talking about the hadith of the Prophet. He was talking about the hadith of other religions. So don't fool us with with, with this. Uh, no, 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 Mr. Man. Yeah. Okay. Listen. I'm listen. On, okay. I am on track. So okay. Don't put, see, no, no, don't harass me. The Excuse word, me. the word hadith here, the verse you quote mm -hmm. for me, is it about Muhammad hadith or it's about the kuffar hadith? Fabi ayi hadithin Allahi. What do you understand from that Arabic? You tell me. You tell me. You speak Arabic. I, I you speak Arabic. To, to you you I speak Arabic. Hadith Which yeah. other hadith? So what? Allah okay. If I go with you, this means why you believe in the hadith then? Listen, I see. This is what I told you. Hmm. I told you that it's not as if we don't believe in hadith. Hmm. But believing in hadith is secondary to the Quran. This yeah, but you just told me. You. you just told me that we should not believe in the hadith because the Quran I says. I did not say that. So what? What? What do you mean by Those saying that hadith? That, that, I did not tell the, you. The verse you Mr. quote for me. The verse you Mr. quote for CP, me. My Mr. friend. CP, yeah, make please. it clear. Make it clear for me. I'm just asking I you made nicely. It clear for no. You. What that? Yes. What that verse mean exactly? Us, English is not my first language. No problem. Somebody even told same. You. Same. My English too. Yeah. What that uh, uh, verse? Not, you know, what that so verse? What I'm saying, at my, least, no, no, no. Don't I'm go. Don't go. Don't go. Hold on. Hold on. What I that verse? Saying, my friend, just focus on me. The, the verse you just quote for me. I want you to explain it to me and make it clear. When said the okay. hadith, Allah is saying mm -hmm. to you. Allah is saying to you. What? Yes. What does that mean? It said. In what hadith? What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, that's what I'm explaining to you. You are just reading for me. You are not telling me what. Allahi, in, in what discourse, other than the discourse of Allah, let me just paraphrase it for you. It means that in what discourse would they believe hmm. other than the discourse of Allah, which is the Quran? So you Muslims should not believe in the hadith, yes or no? No, this is not what I said. So I said still, so still, the hadith is valid. So the hadith is valid. And, and excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, okay. No, no, no. Excuse me. Excuse me. I, I will go with Mr. you, Mr. CP. Uh -huh. did, you are asking me a monosyllabic question. Uh -huh. A monosyllabic question uh -huh. requires what a monosyllabic answer. Mm -hmm. And I did not give you a monosyllabic question. So you cannot run a monologue of, of me. If you are interested in discussing, I have given you. If you are, you are an Arabic speaker. Hmm. Tell me what it means, or maybe you show me. I just told you uh, we can go, we can go right now, and we see what the interpretation is saying. The interpretation does not say that you don't follow the hate of the prophet. Which which interpretation are you talking of the about? verse of the verse you quote for me? Which show me which interpretation are you using? Any any one you want, which one you want? 
Any one you want to choose. No, 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 no. You you tell me what hadith you want, what uh, what interpretation you want. Because if I give you something, you might say I don't agree with it. What is the are one? Are you giving me an hadith or you are giving me a tafsir? My friend, I I just told you interpretation, and I think you you speak okay, clear. Okay, so the interpretation that you want to give to me, are you bringing it from the hadith? Are you bringing it from a tafsir? <laughs> my friend, my friend, interpretation, me, interpretation, logic, interpretation of See, a scholars for the Quran. Interpretation for the who is the one you give you interpretation to you? Who is the one? You see, you are if running you away. Now, now me. you are trying to run away. You mentioned to no, me no, a no, verse. No, no. Running if, away for what? Running away for, from you? Yeah, running you are running away. Which which is interpretation you want me to read for you? I have given. Give me the. Let me show me the interpretation you want to read. What do you mean, show me? Why well, you are scared to tell me? I want you to read I interpretation of etc. Then give me I, and, I and, the and then and then and then and I gave you a, if you if you, whichever translation you want to choose, my friend, read it. My if friend, it's accessible, no, no, then tell me read it because if I read it, you will say to me, oh, I don't like this one. So give me an interpretation you trust. Which one? Which I scholar you agree with? To you. Which it's okay. Why you are running away from telling me a scholar you agree no, with? No, 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 no. Excuse me. You see. Let me tell you, Mr. Sipi, you said you 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 said you studied the Sharia. Is that correct? My friend, don't waste my time. No, Who is the scholar me, agree Sipi. with you? Who don't is the scholar me. agree with Let's you? Are you telling me all the scholars agree Wait. with me? No, no, no. Are you saying? Are you saying? Why you are afraid? Why you are afraid to give me a name of a scholar? Why you don't want to? Why? Listen, listen. You see, you are not polite. I'm asking you friendly to give me a name of a scholar you trust. That's all. Guys, is that fair? This guy, he don't want to give me one because he knew he would get busted. So give me a scholar. He agree with you. Just right. one. Oh, give me a scholar. Agree, he agree when, with when you. The imam, when the imam went silent, you said so many nonsense. About my him. friend, my friend, you are a you coward. Said, you you, you so are a coward. Nonsense. You are a coward. I, I got you busted already. I got you busted because all the scholars don't say that this is about the hadith of the prophet. This is about. Listen, listen. You are a coward. You are. You are a coward. You are a coward because now you don't want to give me. You don't want to give me. Shut up. Shut up. How come not even I muted you? You coward. I will not let you continue unless you give me a name of a scholar you choose. Do you know why you don't want to give me a name of a scholar you choose? Because you know that all of them agree with me and you are a potato. So here the challenge between me and you. Can you give me a name of a scholar of your choice? You see, not my choice, your choice. Do you have the courage to do that? The mic is yours. Debate about the topic. Do you have the you Do you have the courage? Do you have the courage to do so? You meander. You are just meandering. You know what? You I'm are a meandering. coward. You are a you coward. Are you, you got because you, you got you busted. You, you got busted. You got busted. And secondly, Abdul, Abdul, in your own book. See, see, guys, see the example of the Abdul. He don't want me to go. If we give interpretation for the Quran. From our own, he will say you cannot give interpretation of your own. So I'm asking him which scholar you you like. You don't want to give me one. Do you know why? Because he knew he's a liar. That is the whole story. <laughs> uh, let me let me call him back. <laughs> what a scholar you like? You gave me a verse. Let us read what it says. Answer, answer. Yeah. So, did you, did you decide yes, which is color? Did, did you decide which is color? Did you decide which is color? Did you decide I which is color? See, I swear by Allah, I didn't hang up on you. No problem. No problem. No, no, Skype may be false. Like I'm I asking said, you. I'm, I'm asking you, you, Abdul. Did you decide what is color? Agree with you? Can you find me one? Yes or no? What? What? Did, what? What do you want me to find? A scholar, he agree with you about this verse is about not to listen to the prophet hadith. I reframe your question. I didn't understand what you My friend, saying. you gave me a verse in the Quran saying that what hadith you are going to believe after the book no, of Allah. Yes. No problem. In which if we want, other uh -huh. hadith? 
Uh -huh. in which other discourse uh -huh. other than that of Allah so? will they believe okay. and sign so, okay, and listen. I'm using this verse okay listen 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 my friend just listen for a second listen for a second listen for a second can you give me a scholar to explain to us this verse can you give me can you give me a scholar coward potato why you don't want to give me a scholar you agree with and you he agree with you so we can read together what's wrong with you I am not giving you interpretation for the verse from my own. Can you please, nicely and friendly, tell me I want Ibn Kathir, I want Al Qurtubi, I want Al Jalalain, anyone you want, which one you want? Just name it and I will show it to you. Go ahead. Al Qurtubi, when you mention Jalalain, this are Mufassirun. Yeah, so okay. what's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? What's they wrong with are, them? They are tafsir. So, what's wrong with that? Okay, so when, when you talk about tafsir, there are tafsir and there are tafsir. Ah, like that. Yes, that, so, yes, that, so what we will do now? How we, how you as a Muslim, you understand the Quran? Do you go to your scholar, read the tafsir, or you you start guessing as you wish? Well, what are you doing? Were you not guessing the ayah when I'm, you translated? I, I did not guess. I did not guess. Speaker, I did not guess. I did not guess, Abdul. I did not Excuse guess. Me, I did I not guess. I am asking you. I'm asking you. I did not give. Shut up! Shut up, liar! This is why I'm asking you to name for me an interpretation you like. Still, you don't want to give me one. So don't don't tell me I'm guessing. I did not give you even the meaning. I just said, are you saying that this is about not to believe in the hate of the prophet? You refuse to answer. I am ready. Okay, hold okay. on. I'm what, ready. If you are, if what, you are really interested, what in, what interpretation? One, what interpretation wait, you want me to read? Excuse me. If you really want to debate, what interpretation? I, I challenge you, Mr. CP, to come out of your hellhole. Choose the topic. We all have okay. a we have a topic already. You are running away because you don't want you are, you are drifting. <laughs> what do you, you mean? Are drifting like this, you are like the one the, who mentioned to me like this verse, like and you don't want to accept. You don't want to accept brother. your scholars. Can't you name for me one scholar agree with you? What's wrong with you? Why why it's impossible to find one scholar agree with you, Mister Mister CP. Mr. CP. Are, are you going to give me a scholar or not? Let me ask you a question. Don't do ask me a question. Don't, Bible? don't change. Do don't change. The to, don't, the change Bible? don't change the topic. Don't change the no, topic. No. You are running away. Run, 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 run. You are a potato. You are a potato. What is color? Get, get lost. Get, your monologue. Get, I'm giving get, it back to you. Get do lost, you? kid. I have no time for kids. I debate shakes only. You are a kid. When a Muslim refuse to give us any interpretation. That is a clear sign that he is a big fat liar. And he said this to potato. If a hadith contradict the Quran, he will not let me talk, by the way. He will just talk over me. I are did you, not are you going to give me a scholar or not? Yes or no? I'm I want to find an answer from you. Be a man. Do you believe in a be, Jehovah's be, Witness? Listen, Bible? listen. No, I don't believe in Jehovah's No, 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 no. Uh, shut up. Don't change the topic. Coward. Go ahead. Yes, David. Yeah, nice one, CP. You see, guys, the stupid. What Jehovah's Witnesses have to do with this? Well, I I'm, think, a, I'm uh, asking him. A... I'm asking him. Ajalalain, Ibn Kathir, at at Tafsir. This is scholars of Islam. He mentioned Jehovah's Witnesses. Is is is, is Ibn Kathir Jehovah's Witnesses? <laughs> no, do you see how stupid? You. Do you see how run away? <laughs> if, I, if you follow, if you follow my uh, <laughs> my comment on the uh, <laughs> on the chat, Jehovah. I said if the guy is confused, they will run away. It's just an idiot. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. He said when. Um, a did contradict Quran, they pick Quran. But what about him praying five times in a day, in which Quran said three a times? Friend, in a I day? can quote for him 100 things. Like, what about uh, what about the muta? The Quran says muta, the Muslim today they don't do muta, you know, most, exactly. most of them. So, if we go, so what about the, that? The, the Quran says many, there's many, many it's Quran, many Quran abrogated by the hadith, and this is very well known. So, when the Quran contradicts the hadith, we take the Quran, this is a big fat lie. This is a big yeah, fat lie exactly. because there's many, many hadith cancel the Quran, delete the yeah. Quran. So what this exactly. guy is talking about? The Quran, the, the, know the hadith says that yeah. there is a stoning to death. What is the Quran for stoning to death? It's gone. Yeah. You know? He does he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a Nigerian guy, he doesn't know yeah. what he's talking about. But you see, about. the I question could, is the, the, the um, right away you will know that they are in right away. He changed the topic to talk about Jehovah's Witnesses. What Jehovah's Witnesses have to do even with um, me? He couldn't, he couldn't deal with it. And um, I'm asking him, asked, can't you name for me one scholar agree with you? Just one. So uh, yeah, and, and he said is, this is tafsir. So what's wrong with tafsir? Is aren't they Muslims and they are your scholars? Who you yourself? How you learn that this this verse mean what it's mean? I am not giving you 
my own meaning and I ask him is that is that verse you gave me saying clearly that don't follow the hate of the Prophet he just said that if a hadith contradict the Quran we don't take it so why you are quoting for me that hadith that that verse if you just admitted that the hadith of the Prophet is accepted if something contra if anything hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me let me take him hold on yes Abdul how was Jehovah's Witnesses doing with you Yes, your, even, even your Bible talks about <laughs> Abdul as well. Even your Bible talks about Abdul. See, you are very arrogant. You are, you you have are, you are a potato. You are a potato. Okay, listen, listen. Abdul, you are a potato. You are a potato. You are, you are, a, you are a stupid potato. You don't See, dare to you answer. You don't dare to answer. I'll otherwise, okay. To you. Otherwise, you otherwise. Okay, let us make a challenge. Let us make a challenge. Shut up, shut up. I muted you. You are talking to yourself. Nobody hear you. Let us make a challenge. You as a Muslim to understand this verse. You see, I am a Christian. I have no right to explain the verse up to my, you know, my understanding. Me as a Christian, if I want to understand this verse, you as a Muslim, you will refer me to go to who as a scholar to read it as interpretation. Guys, is that fair? You as a Muslim, let us say I'm a person who want to convert to Islam to get the 72 vagina. And you want to help me to get those vagina. All right? So now I'm asking you the verse you gave me. I want to understand it. Chapter 45, verse number six. All right. Who is the scholar you refer to me to go and listen to him so I can get the meaning? Are you telling me not even one scholar in Islam you advise me to listen to because all of them they are a bunch of liars? Is that what you are saying? The mic is yours. That's the problem with you because you throw insults, you just throw insults, and you think that. You, you, you insult mean, yourself. You give me, give me a scholar. What's wrong with if you? you what really is scholar? Let me tell you. If you are interested in a get get lost, you stupid idiot. What a kid! <laughs> insult. I'm asking him nicely, friendly. Okay, who is the one who will explain this verse to me? This guy, he cannot even read the proper Arabic. Somalian boy. If I want to read this verse, I will go to who? Look, look at the name he have XXX. How are, how are you, Mr. XX? I'm good, TP. How about you? All right. I'm fine. And I was listening to your debate with that African guy. Yeah. Uh, he actually ended up trapping himself. First of all, he said that uh, if any hadith contradicts with the Quran, we have to go with the Quran. Then he brings up this verse, Fabia ye hadith in Badallahi, Wayati Yominun. The verse totally cancels all the hadiths other than Quran. The verse is quite clear what hadiths you believe in after Allah and His verses. Right. Afterwards. Yeah. So they don't have to take the hadiths. Yeah, but but he just said that if the hadith contradict the Quran, we don't take it. So he take hadith, correct? No, but the verse he recited. I know, I know. No, no, you reference. see. No, no. I ask him, is that is that verse speaking about if a hadith, the hadith here they are talking about, is the hadith of the prophet or the hadith of the kuffar? The fact this is about the hadith of the kuffar, not the hadith of the prophet, because the Muslims they've been ordered to obey Allah and the Messenger. Yeah. Allah, how to obey Allah is by obeying Allah words, correct? That's the understanding of the people, but the Quran also says in the Hula Kaulu Rasul in Kareem that Quran is the no, word of no, messenger as well. No, no, they both problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. But here, if when I obey, obey to yeah, obey, obey, yeah, you know, obey when okay. I obey somebody, uh, he has to give me an order of his own. If I obey Allah, that's the order of Allah. So Allah says, Don't do that, I don't do that. But to obey the Prophet is to obey his order. So we have we have an orders coming from Allah and we have orders coming from Muhammad and, and as you know as you know Muslim they yeah. say that Muhammad he said hadith which cancelled the Quran is that correct yeah I do believe that nonsense theory that the Quran is being cancelled all of the Quran is non mansuk and you have the hadiths now to you know highlight the Islam or promote Islam whatever the Islam is today it's just nonsense bullshit and you have seen these these people are brain dead. you can't really expect an answer like that Sheikh from al or whatever he was he just ran off like a little girl. His PC wasn't working. Yeah, but what is what the problem with this guy? What is the answer for? He called me supposedly to answer me about that, and now he is saying to me the hadith you mention is uh, not accepted. Why is not accepted? Same time, I showed two verses from the Quran, not only a hadith, because there is a verse in the Quran says 
that any verses we cause to be forgotten, right? This is the, the, the chapter of Al-Baqarah. So yeah, the, any, any verses yeah. we cause to be forgotten. And the other one says, oh, I will give you Quran and you will not forget. So how we will cause to be forgotten? And I asked the Sheikh, I think you were listening, right? I asked the Sheikh, yeah. who is the one yeah. who, who hear the verse speaking about Muhammad? I gave him three options. This verse is speaking to Muhammad or speaking to Muslims or speaking to Muhammad and the Muslims. He said to Muhammad, correct? Well, uh, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, yeah, maybe. That's yeah, you can you said. can go and play it again. So he said it clearly. Yeah, yeah, that's to Muhammad, fine. I totally believe And he repeated that twice because I gave him the question more than one time. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So Muhammad is 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 a promise not to forget the Quran. All right, but Muhammad is forgetting the Quran in the Hadith, and that is not contradicting the Quran because the Quran in different verse in chapter of Al Baqarah saying that Allah will cause the Quran to be forgotten. And it doesn't make sense that all the Muslims will forget the Quran except Muhammad. Why? <laughs> and well, yeah, that that's their understanding. They get trapped in their own understanding just because they want to, uh, you know, just abrogate the Quran. They're just rushing towards abrogation. So, what do you expect from them? Yeah, but you know, and why he don't want to give me a scholar to understand the Quran? You see, when I. Uh, uh, when I, uh, a Christian, uh, a Muslim, he asked me, asked ask him a question about the Bible. Uh, you have to take it as we understand it, not as you like. So now I'm not asking him to, uh, I will explain to him the Quran. I'm asking him, which scholar you like? You yeah. See, do, do you know why he said to me, okay, well, which one you want? He was, he, yeah, he, he was just going around in circles. Yeah, because he don't want to give me one, because if I give him one and then he will find himself busted, he will say, oh, I don't like this guy. He, yeah, yeah, that's he, true. Yeah. That's true. This is why he don't want to give me. Uh, this is why I insist I want him to name one, but yet he, the coward, <laughs> he will not dare to name one. I mean, is it possible that all the scholars in the world, not even one of them, agree with you? Yeah. Which sect is that? Is is the sect you? You, you he is Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> right. Yeah, he must be Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> well, there are few Quranis, by the way. We're not in numbers or something. It's hard to find one anyway. But, but they, it's very funny. They are saying to you they want to debate, and he have an answer. The 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 the, the sheikh, uh, he uh, obviously don't not uh, cannot speak English. But the sheikh did not say, "I cannot answer you in English." He said, "I will come back after two days." You yeah, know? sheikh could speak English, and he speak very well. Yeah, yeah, and he was the, fine with English. And the one who invited him, she speak only English. Like you see, if the girl who invited him. She speak Arabic. I will say, okay, well, you know why he spoke to an Arabic person. She told him that this is in YouTube, and she told him this guy is a Christian prince. He do English program, and she said to me, he is a liar. I told him it's in English, you know. Uh, yeah. But it's an excuse, and you will notice the first twenty eight minute he don't have a problem with his English. Yeah. So well, I often I'm aware of that. Even I try to speak with them and demand answers from the Quran and stuff. All they do is accuse, run off, they can't understand, their brain's not working or something. Something goes wrong with them. Yeah, well, anyway, you know, uh, we are here to get them busted. And this guy uh, who don't want to give us one scholar agree with him, obviously, he is a potato. Yeah. Everything contradicts the Quran. Everything in the Hadith contradicts the Quran. Yes, you everything see, does. You see, when 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 the Quran says Allah, He said to Muhammad, read as an example from the beginning, the beginning of the story. Yeah. He said to him, read. Okay, if you go and read the story of uh, of the Hadith, there's a story even says that Muhammad, after he saw the angel in the cave, he saw the angel again, and he was laying down in a bed. Like what the heck? <laughs> yeah, there are a few versions, and those are crazy ones. You know? Yeah, but I mean, the sto the whole story does not make sense. And then the angel he squeezed him. Okay, well, why, why the why the Quran did not say? I mean, the angel when he was squeezing, did Allah told him that in the Quran to, to squeeze, like say, Iqra, squeeze, Iqra, squeeze, Iqra, yeah, that's squeeze. That's a funny story. Even I don't believe that that is such a nonsense story. He's getting hugged and squeezed by the angel. Read, read, and then read from what? When you ask these sheikhs, read from what? He couldn't even read that he had a piece of paper or something, and they just go silent. By the way, the, the gentleman is calling right now. He is a Muslim. Yeah, sure. Way. He's a Muslim, you, but he is a Quran only. You know, he's he don't believe in the hadith, correct? Do you believe right, in the hadith? That, Do you believe in the hadith? I don't know. I'm you, you. Do you believe in the hadith? 
No, I don't believe in the hadith. Oh, if you're asking, okay. no, 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 not a single. You know me for quite some time okay, now. You know what? I, I will ask you a simple question. Is as long as you are a person who don't believe in the in the hadith. If I say to you, "Who is Israel?" What you will say to me? Well, for that, I'll have to go to previous books. What does that mean? I have to go to previous books because the Quran calls them Bani Israel, but doesn't tell you who is Israel. Does that mean there's a shortage in the book? No, that's why the Quran says refer to the previous book, refer to the book of the scripture. No, Ask no, no. them. No, no, there's a, the there, there's a guy, his name is Israel, not only speaking well, about the, the children of Israel. There's a guy, his name is Israel. So if I say why? to you now, you are a person who don't uh, uh, believe in the hadith. All right. Right. So how you will find out who is this guy, Israel? Right. Well, you'll have to question him that what does Salat means and various stuff, what Shahada you believe in. And how can you bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah when you're not when you have witnessed nothing? Actually, even so if can... I ask you, uh, my friend, even if I ask you who is Muhammad, if there is anything in the Quran telling you who is Muhammad? Well, Muhammad is in the Quran, all his personality is there. That's what I believe in. No, 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 no. My Muhammad no, if is I limited. ask you, if a person came to me and he says to me, Okay, the Quran yeah. says Jesus, the son of Mary. Yeah. And her the father of Mary is Amran. Okay, so now we know the son, we know the mother, we know the father, we know that he have no father. Okay, so now we know who is Isa. If I yeah. want to know, if I want to know from the Quran who is Muhammad, I mean, why Allah is telling me that Mary, she have a son, her name is his name is Isa, and she have yeah. a father, his name is Amran, and telling me even yeah. the story about Zechariah, you know, yet he yeah. don't mention anything about Muhammad except that his name, his name mentioned. That's son. a good question, uh, CP, because Quran is not. Totally Muhammad's biography. Muhammad was just a messenger. So why we need the biography? Why would I Allah. why we need the biography about others? I mean, why the biography appear for others and suddenly the most important person in this book? There's no biography about him. That's a good question. That that is something Allah has done deliberately to confuse people who have disease in their hearts. Okay, so, like the so, so, so Allah He make in order, He make He make or uh, uh, something deceiving in purpose just to deceive people you are saying yes that's all in the quran that allah will mislead from the quran as well all right but what the purpose of this mislead because this is supposedly the one who believe in this book is the muslims so what the point of misleading the muslims uh, i don't think allah sees someone as if someone says he's a muslim or not because there's a verse in the quran uh, which says that arabs say that we have uh, believed Allah says you have not believed submit so when the faith enters you you will know so Allah deals with a person individually rather than what he calls himself but you just so, said what you just said that Allah he deceived those who have disease increased disease who the one who have disease in their heart is that correct yeah that's true. okay well uh, if I am a doctor and what is a doctor do the doctor he go after the one who have a disease in his heart to help him if you are yeah. healthy, you do not need a doctor. So Allah, why he is instead of sending a doctor for those who have a disease in their heart, instead he is putting more more diseases in their heart. I mean, because doesn't make sense. Because Allah's like here in the Quran that Allah will not change what's within you. You will have to change what's within you. you no, have to no, no, my friend, no, my friend. The Quran confirmed that Allah he deceive as he wish and he guide as he wish. So what yeah, that's mean? true. That these are the last verses of Surah Al Insan. I'm aware of that. Yeah. Even if someone wishes to take away with Allah, one cannot unless Allah wills. See, anything happened. Like even the Quran says that uh, uh, if Allah He wished to believe, they will believe. But He don't wish, you know. So. Uh, yep, uh, that's true. Yeah. So uh, 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 Allah is the one who misguide. Allah is the one who uh, uh, guide. So it yeah. is at the end, it is his choice, not your choice. And this is confirmed. This is confirmed the hadith. So what the point of this religion? If Allah He made a decision that Christian Prince he will be deceived. So I like to be guided or not, it doesn't matter. He made a decision already. You know, uh, he made a decision for Adam, he made a decision for before he created him, he made a decision for you, for me before he created us. So well, what the... my answer would be personal, and that would be a simple answer because I can't really answer on this. My answer would be that's why we should fear Allah. My friend, that's why I fear my friend, Allah. you are just telling me that Allah is a scary person, he is the devil. We cannot trust him, he is deceiver, and he play us. That's all, all what you are saying. So you are just doing with my respect to you the same as the Sheikh. All what I can say to you that uh, we should fear Allah because of that, because He play us. 
you know but you fear him or not that will not change anything he decided for you already to go to hell so why you want to follow him he decided for already already you fear him you don't fear him who care i mean he, 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 well i don't really have a choice but it's up to allah now i i don't have a say in this matter well you know you are you don't have a choice if you are a person who became subdued for the devil the devil he want to deceive you and you are saying well the devil decided to de 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 deceive me and i have no choice oh, that's not true you are a human being you've been given a brain it doesn't make sense anything of that you see uh, 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 heaven and, and and judgment day is based on uh, uh, reward for something good you did you did or penalty for something bad you did but Islam does not make sense because it doesn't matter what you do you do good or bad it's already decision is made so what the point of this religion I convert or not it doesn't matter because I might convert but still I'm not going to go because Allah well, made that's a, a bit surprising because we'll have to see what Allah will do on that day who will go to paradise who will burn in hell it's all up so, to Allah so what the point of this one if you go to chapter 4 verse number 88 it says woman uh, 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 فَلَنْ تَجِدَ لَهُ سَبِيلًا You know what does that mean, you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay, well, well, explain to us. Go ahead. What does that mean? Can you please get the words? Uh, uh, this, yeah. uh, this is the chapter 4, verse number 88. Let me open it up. But I like that guy but who supposeded he, 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 uh, he called to to uh, to help the sheikh. <laughs> yeah, well, see, be this uh, verses I believe quite easy that repentance is not accepted if someone continues persists in sin. Yeah, and, and the uh, it, the verse is quite clear that on your deathbed you will not be forgiven for whatever you have done in your life, even if you repent. This is what the verse means. Yeah, I think this is what the verse means. Can you read it for us, please? Yeah, but repentance is not accepted of those who continue to do evil deeds up until when death comes to one of them. He says, indeed, I have repented now. Where is the word or repentance? Or of those who died while they were their disbelievers. Where, where is the word repentance there? Repentance. Where, where, where? Are you reading the same well, chapter? Chapter 4, actually. chapter 4, verse number 88. You're reading that? Yeah. Where is the word repentance there? I don't see it. Where? It's not there. It's in the brackets, actually. I was reading the translations. It's not in the Arabic. Yeah, but there's no repentance there. I cannot find the word repentance in Arabic or in English. Where where, where you get the word for? There's no, no repentance there. Oh, it was in the English version, actually. I was reading. Okay. Sorry about what, that. What translation you are reading? It's Sahih International. Oh, okay. That's weird. You see, because... Uh, what the verse... The repentance word... Okay, the second... I, I, I will go. I will go with you. Let's go with you. So you I just said, I will go with you. I will go with the yeah. translation you said. So Allah is saying that they repent or not, Allah will not accept. For he is the one whom he 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 he, uh, he deceived them, correct? Well, it doesn't say it's chapter number four, verse 18, right? Uh, chapter four, verse number 88. 88? Yeah, 88. Oh, sorry, I was on so 18. So I was wondering what I'm talking about, like repentance and all that. Right, sorry about. Okay, uh, it says, what is the matter with you that you are two groups concerning the hypocrites while well, Allah has made them fall back into error and disbelief for what they earn? Do you wish to guide those whom Allah has sent astray? And he whom Allah sends astray, never will you find for him a way. Yeah. See? <laughs> so yeah so Allah is saying like well, Allah, I, that Allah I am the one who deceived them I am the one who, so what the devil do if Allah is saying I am the one who deceived them so why why they why Allah claim that the devil is the one who deceive you when he is saying I am the one who deceived them and don't try to guide them because the one I deceive <laughs> nobody can guide I mean he is more evil than the devil himself well Allah knows but we don't know what does that mean have to do with this? You see, Allah knows or you don't know. This is not, doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't make well, change anything. Well, the purpose of the verse, I believe, is simple to strike fear of Allah among the believers. My friend, what fear? What fear? Uh, you know, is Islam came for guidance or Islam useless? Because based on this, Islam is useless. You guide them, you don't guide them. It doesn't matter. The one who is guided by Allah, you cannot, you cannot guide him. So Islam is a joke because Allah already well, decided to have to submit uh, my friend my friend you don't have your will anymore if you but, submit to Allah you should do what the Quran says friend, and listen, goes against your nafs. listen carefully 
You see, Allah is saying that the one who he misguide, nobody can guide. The one actually he says in Arabic, not misguide, the one who he deceived, yudlil. So if I am the one who's causing the causing the law, causing this deception, and I am the one who made you being deceived, and I am saying to the, the prophet, will you guide them or you don't don't waste your time because I am the one who made them misguided, and the one who yeah. I mis misguide, nobody can guide. So what the point of Muhammad then? Because already the decision made. So Muhammad, Muhammad is, is just a delivery guy. He's just delivering what, the message. What the point that... of the delivery? If 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 he, he made a decision because the mes the message already already this message is useless because if you are saying I deceived them and nobody well, can guide the one I deceive. So why he sending the message for see, who they are deceived? That's why Allah repeatedly says in the Quran, "I do what I will." Allah does what He wills. My friend, this is not a problem uh, for me. I. Uh, uh, I, I believe that God he do what he will. What's wrong with that? But this, this is not the question. The question yeah. is if I want to send a message uh, with a messenger, and at the end of the day, the message he give a message or not, I made a decision who is going to accept it and who is going to reject it. So what the point yeah. of this message? There's no point. It's a joke. I send a letter for you. I am sending a letter, but I made you program you to take the letter and rip it off. And I made other guy to take the letter and kiss it. I made him do that. So what the point? He did not give them free will to choose to accept the message or not to accept. He is. He said the one I must guide. Nobody can guide. That's it. That don't, don't waste your time. So the message is useless. So Islam as a religion is a stupid idea based on this. Because you see, if I want to say to a person, repent to God, and then you will be forgiven. That's mean. God, he said, repent. Then you are forgiven. But repent, you don't repent, it doesn't matter. God will not forgive you. He decided to deceive you and he will send you to hell. So this is a crazy religion. It's a hashish religion. You see, all the ritual Muhammad he mentioned in the Quran, doing hajj, uh, paying uh, zakat, uh, etc., paying the prophet, all those things turn to be useless because if he made decision already, I make donation or not, doesn't make a difference. If I go to hajj or not, if I pray, the night of Al Qadr, which is equal to 83 years, which is funny, it doesn't make any difference because he made a decision who was going to go to heaven, who was going to make who go to hell before he created us. So, what the point of this religion? It's just a waste of time. This God is playing. You see, CP, we will see on the day of judgment. No, no, my friend, my friend, we are not talking about the day of judgment now. You know, you you are doing the same as the Sheikh now. Let, uh, two days from now, we will see. So the day of judgment if, if islam is a true religion we know already what the day of judgment will be he made decision who is going to be deceived who is not and you yourself you are you obviously you, you are not a believer you are a person who fear allah only you just say this is why we have to fear allah so you are just a scared person of allah not a believer well i was given some signs personally so i fear allah i have submitted to the quran that's so, my personal affair okay. with god no problem but but you are not a believer you are a person who live in fear so you submit to allah because you are afraid of him not because you believe in him he yeah, why not? See, yeah i so, am afraid of god that's that's the truth no no no. this is not the point the point is you are not a believer you are just an afraid person and there's a huge difference there's a person who's afraid and he do yeah. things because he's afraid because of terror and there is a person who's a believer so you, yeah. if you think if you are you are just afraid from allah as you said but you don't believe in allah so why you will go to heaven i mean is allah is a fool well i don't know where i where i will end up i have absolutely no idea okay no problem happy. no problem but i mean so what the point of uh, fearing allah just because you fear because he, if you will go to hell anyway why you want to fear it at least live your life and don't worry about him so this guy because in my everyday life, I sense when I sin, when I do something wrong, I get punished by Allah. What do you mean? How 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 you get punished? Well, if I do something wrong that I'm not supposed do, to do, do you think I mean? Get things, you, I get punished. Friend, I go into okay, let, and let, stuff. Let me let me ask you. Do you think Christian Prince is doing something wrong to Allah? That's your affair with Allah. Why he don't punish me? Well, Allah says in the Quran, Allah will give them time. Allah gives everybody time. Uh, so, but but you just said that Allah, when you do something wrong, right away He punish you. Yeah. So uh, why Allah does punish so why, me, and Allah does not punish few people? So why? So why in your case? Why in your case that. He don't give you time? I mean, you are the one who fear Him, yet He punish you right away. 
Well, CP, that's because Allah has already decided for you. Allah is not unfair. Okay, with can you, you give me will give you good time? Can you give me an example where Allah you did something wrong and Allah punished you right away? Can you give an example, please? Yeah, there's a verse of the Quran that says uh, if one kills a life without right or commit fornication, he should get ready for the punishment. Okay, and what happened to you? You com you killed somebody or you commit fornication and Allah punished you? What happened? No, that that's actually my personal affair. If I've done something, if I have been dishonest, no, no, I'm, ju I'm you know, just trying. I'm just trying to understand how Allah He punish you because you are saying I'm not. I'm not trying to to, to get into your into your private life. I'm just trying to understand how this happened to you. How He punished you? What happened? Well, that, then it will be personal, so I'll have to tell no, you. No, no, I'm not telling you to tell me the story what you did. I'm telling you what He did, what Allah He did to you. Well, then I'll have to go uh, into the full story, right. but otherwise okay. it won't make my, any my, sense. My friend, you know, there is, go in the Middle East, you will see that the people, they say the F word to Allah, they say the F word to Muhammad, uh, 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 the, the guy, al qurmati who destroyed the Black, destroyed the Kaaba, uh, he was victorious until the last day of his life. Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al saqafi the one who, who, who made, the Kaaba, made the Kaaba and Mecca, dust. The whole city destroyed totally. He was victorious and he was a person who nobody can stop and nothing happened to him. What is the point? Like, uh, as an example, well, see, you, rem the you remember the story, my friend? The believers. You remember Even the story? The said, when, that, when is the help of Allah? Allah says, uh, achieving paradise is not easy. Being a believer is not easy. Uh, come on. What is easy? If Allah, he just, you just, we just agreed, me and you, and you know, I, I guess you are smarter than saying that. We agree that Allah, the one He guide, He guide, and the one He misguide, He misguide. So is yeah, what, that's what, true. So what easy, what hard? It's already He make a decision. You and you agreed with that. So there's nothing. It's called easy and hard because it doesn't matter what you do. If it if He made a decision for you already to go to heaven, it's so easy. You do not need to do anything. For Allah, He guided you. That's it. If if you if you are a person from the unlucky one, He decide to deceive deceive you. That's it. It doesn't matter how hard how hard you work. There's no guidance for you. So this is what you said is very stupid with my respect to you Listen, I want to ask you a simple question. I don't want to yeah. keep you for long Do you remember the story in the chapter of the elephant? Yeah, I do as okay. how feel I believe okay. What the story is saying do you know? Well, uh, I'll uh, let you have your say because that is a bit no, no, difficult no, no. to explain. Give me, give me your summary of the story. Do you, like in in a, in two minutes, what what this story is about? Well, Muhammad was facing some enemy, and Allah sent birds with stones to attack. Muhammad him. was facing enemy. Muhammad. Yeah, but this is before Islam. No, I don't think that was before Islam. That was, um, I believe, during or after the Islam uh, no, in Muhammad's friend. lifetime. No, my friend, during during Muhammad, the Arab was controlling the Yemen, not the Ethiopian. That's false. But CP, just one question here. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, uh, if I tell you I went all the way from Yemen or India mm -hmm. to Mecca, with my father on an elephant will you believe me uh, well for sure this is absolutely a lie because elephants can go through the desert right so how this happened this never happened in Mecca. that is the silly interpretation of the writers that you know elephants attack Mecca. i mean what the heck is that if i tell someone i went from my, india my, my friend, Mecca, no, my friend they listen, listen. Me. let us use our intelligence and i'm sure you are a smart person if those elephants will not make it to mecca anyway so why i need to defend mecca uh, there's no mention of Mecca in that verse. He, no, no I problem, believe, no Prophet problem. Muhammad went somewhere. No, no problem, no problem. What do you mean? I know this is. Uh, the, Could uh, be India. No, 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 no. You see, the, uh, those are in India. They want to come where? Why, why Allah He punish them? Because they were waging war against uh, the Messenger of Allah. And uh, the Prophet at that time he was in India. Pardon? And and your Prophet at that time he was in India. Could be India, could be Yemen. I'm not sure. Wherever the elephants are, could well, be Africa. Well, well, there's no reference anywhere in his, any Islamic book. It says that Muhammad ever been out of uh, like maximum. He went to Syria, to Yemen, and Arabian Peninsula, and that's it. Yeah, according to the history, by the way, since he became prophet, he never came out of Mecca or Medina. He never even went to Syria. He went to Syria before. Right, Islam. So I'm talking about before. So now here. No, I don't here. believe in those stories. Yeah. So I believe okay. was traveling. 
to the continent and spreading Islam. So, you know, you agree that this is a story does not make any sense, especially that is speaking that Allah he sent birds carrying stones. Is that correct? No, I believe the Quranic story uh, makes sense, but the tafsir does not. Tafsir is totally no nonsense. Problem, but, but do you believe that the birds are carrying stones and striking at yes, the elephants? Yes, I do believe that. Okay. Yeah. Where are they? Where are they, those, uh, uh, you know, those stones? Uh, I mean, uh, when when the Kaaba was destroyed, when Muhammad was humiliated, when uh, well, it, first of all, that's what my point was. It never happened in Kaaba, and what happened where it happened, I don't know. My friend, I, I'm saying, when Muhammad he had many war and he lost many, he did not win everything. Why those birds did not join in any fight? I don't know that uh, okay question, but I all don't right. know. All right. So those birds, they appear to fight with the Prophet, but they are not fighting with him in Arabia, but they fight with him only in India. Well, it could be anywhere. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't have that understanding. Birds, I didn't Allah, understand Allah, you send the birds time. all the way to India, which is far away. It will take them forever to arrive anyway, and they will never make it. But Allah will not send his F-16 birds in Arabia. And that makes sense to you. Well, Allah sent angels instead of birds. And so. how how big that bird is going to? How big the rock is going to be? I mean, to kill an elephant by a by a rock is carried by a bird. I mean, how big this rock will be? It look like your the bird of Allah. They were a sniper, and they have a cruise. Even a cruise have a, a seven percent uh, uh, mistaken like per percent to mistake the target. So those are birds. And they are just, you see, when you throw a rock from high, simply you are just leaving the rock, right? And the rock will fall down. So how many birds will be in the sky and how many rock they need to, to throw in order to kill one elephant? Well, ZB, I don't know. I wasn't there with them at that yeah, time. You see, you are an intelligent man. You are just trying to escape, saying, I do not know. Maybe it was in India. This is what happened to a person who struggled with his intelligence, that he don't want to believe that he is believing in something foolish like this. So he say, I don't know. Each time things getting complicated, I say, well, I don't know. I have, I don't believe with them that they are saying an elephant came into Mecca. An elephant, he need about between 500 to 600 liter of water a day. Yeah, that's true. So how the elephant even will go to the, in the desert for one day, not one, one, one week. An elephant, they are not really fast. And, they get yeah. and not only that, the elephant, not only they need to drink water, they need during daytime, they need to stay inside the water because they don't sweat, correct? Yeah, true. They need to wash themselves always by water, not because they are liking to get the clean like shampoo, but because their skin will go dry and they will die. So they have to have water always, not necessarily only to drink, but to wet their skin and their body. And the whole story, it does not make sense. You know, when uh, when al qurmuti he came to the Kaaba, he stood in the middle of the Kaaba and he said, where is, uh, he said, Allah, hey, Allah, where is the birds? Where is your flying birds? The guy, he destroyed the Kaaba. He took the black stone. He made it a, a pupu stone for more than 20 years. And the Muslims, and by the way, nobody during that time do Hajj. That's it. Nobody go to Kaaba because those people, they are for, following stones. The stone is taken. The Kaaba is destroyed. People even lost their faith because they said, well, well you know, what the heck? Where is Allah? This guy, he made them lose their faith. So he destroyed the Kaaba, he took the black stone, and then the Muslim they sent him a letter asking him, uh, they sent a letter to Al Hakim bi Amrullah al Fatimi saying to him, please, can you like intercede between us and Al Qurmuti? We will pay him money and he give her give us the stone. And then the books of the Sira says that when the Muslim received the stone back, it was pieces and it was a lot light than the way he took it. And look how the Muslim explained that, guys. They say the reason the stone was light when they bring it back, not because he changed it with fake stone, but because the stone was happy to get back to Mecca. Stone was happy. Yeah, the stone is happy to get back to Mecca. That's why the stone is not heavy. So uh, this is why, you know, always Muslims, when you, when you show them the, the madness of the Quran, like you, 
you start trying to find a solution so what you did yourself you fly with the birds all the way to India and you said there's no way the bird the, the elephant will, will will come to Mecca you don't want to believe in the stories which mentioned all over by Muslims and by Muhammad himself so you decide to fly yourself to India all the way and then you find yourself looking for birds there killing the elephant but what the elephant have to do with Muhammad there anyway let us say an army is coming to fight Muhammad and Allah is a smart God he knew supposedly that those elephant anyway they cannot make it to go in the desert what is the point of this birds nothing how the elephant let us say the Indian they want to cross the ocean they cannot do that you know an army of elephants coming within the ocean and how they can carry water with them they cannot do that so everything in the story is a joke but for you as a smart person in order to escape questioning the value of your book you decide to say well I don't know well CP miracles happen we have to believe in the miracles just it's like not, Christ giving life to friend, the death this is not a miracle this is not a miracle this has nothing to do with miracle you see this is not you know uh, do Allah need the birds to uh, you know he can say one word he say B is going to be right what birds what is that for what is the birds right now the wax is flying in the top of the Kaaba and according to the Muslims that this story happened when the when the Kaaba used to have a 360 idol so Allah he sent birds to save the Kaaba when it was under the pagans and Allah did not send his birds to save the Kaaba when it was full of Muslims al Qurmati he killed more than and he's a Muslim himself by the way but you know what his story I don't know if you are if you know he he killed yeah. more than ten thousand Muslims around okay. the Kaaba. He slaughtered them all. So he killed the Muslims. He destroyed the Kaaba. He took the black stone. He was pissing in it for more than twenty years. And I believe now the stones they have it now, it is not the stone he took it. If you go right now and you look at the stone the Muslims they have in the Kaaba now, it is pieces and it's glued together. It's yeah, those are pieces glued together, but that. Rock has nothing to do with Islam. They, it's just from you know maybe some symbol of goddess of fertility from pre-Islamic time. It's not even mentioned in the Quran that rock should be you know thrown out of Kaaba. My friend, the Kaaba, all of it is is a is a piece of rocks. So what the Kaaba is about? And but what, that specific rock which they're worshiping. And, and but no, there is a, a many proofs of those of you know. Even before Islam, the Arab they used to worship rocks, so it's nothing new. This is a pagan cult, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, tradition. And Muhammad himself, you know, you are a person who believe in the Quran only. Let me show you something, uh, mm -hmm. just to show you that Muhammad he was a pagan. Let us see. In chapter 74, verse number uh, 4 and 5, what is chapter saying? Uh, let me check if you have it on the screen. Let's see. Chapter 74, verse number 4 and 5. Let me open it up. Okay, and your clothing purify. What and what are what is a res you know sure. What is that? What? Well, it means keep your clothes clean and avoid uncleanliness. Who said that? What is Allah? Who said that? Who is where is the where is this meaning is coming from? Right. Well, it's uh, that is the verse. Uh, I believe it's the exact one, seventy-four, okay. verse number. Purify four. himself from what? Purify what? yourself means keep your clothes clean. You clean. Like, clean. Don't keep why dirty. Muhammad, why Muhammad was dirty? That's just an advice from Allah. Well, yeah, advising him if he is clean already. Because if you go to a woman, I don't think the clothes remain pure anymore. That you have to purify them again. You have to wash them. Uh, uh, you know this is, doesn't make sense uh, uh, Allah saying to Muhammad you should be clean you know yeah 
that's an advice. That's why we clean ourselves before we go to Salah. No, a rajas simply is the practice of the pagan worshipping the goddess. Have nothing to do with the cleaning and clothes. You can go open any dictionary. You can open any interpretation. You can open all the scars who speak very well Arabic. And you yeah, see. you can say that. Uh, okay. It's also so, yeah. So Muhammad was a pagan person. Yeah, you might be before Islam. There is a chance he no, could no, be. No, no, no. This is before. This is this is before Islam. After Islam, this is a chapter seventy-four. <laughs> Well, that that could not be specifically for Muhammad, but for everybody else. Just an advice. No, 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 no. This is this is this is what to Muhammad. You can go and read any interpretation. This is what to Muhammad. Allah is saying to him, stay away uh, from worshiping the pagans. Why he is saying that to him? He says, clean yourself from the pagans, from worshiping the pagans, and specifically, Asaf and Naila. So why he is saying that to him if Muhammad was a prophet now? Well, just an advice from Allah. No, well, you, you give me advice. Well, Muhammad is a human being after my, all. My friend, my friend, you, you, you call me right now. Imagine you call me, you say the Christian prince don't worship pagans, but I don't worship pagans. This is stupid to say that to me unless I am worshiping pagans. So when Allah, he says, when Allah, he says such a thing, then we need to ask, how Allah he says such a thing to him, but yet Muhammad don't believe in this. So what the point? Unless Muhammad, well, unless Muhammad at that point he was worshiping idols. And well, the said, verse literally means that he should avoid every kind of filth. No, avoid no, 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 my friend, go right now and check what the word means. Arab Arabic is my language. This yeah. word have nothing to do. You see the translation. The Muslim give you translation. If you go yeah. over the translation, let me show you. Let us see one by one. It is it is very funny. But here, here, do you see? This is the translation of whom? Hassan Khan. He said, and keep away from Arrajas. Do you see it? Between two brackets, the idols. Do you see it? Well, Rajas, Najas, I see the similarity no, there. No, no, so no, no, I... no, 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 no. This is not, this is not what that one. This is a different word. This is, it is specifically the idols. And even the translation in front of us, this guy, he got it right. Do you see? Yeah. That? Okay. Why I want to say to you, don't do that no more. Purify your garment because you are dirty for doing that. Yeah, it could mean uh, avoid. No, 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 no. Every kind of shirk in your speech. See, purify, purify your garment. What yeah. happened to his garment? It is because he was worshiping, going around the idols and worshiping them. He is asking him. To abandon them, abandon. That's mean you are now not abandoning them yet. If Muhammad already is abandoned those idols, there's no need for me to say to you, we'll abandon them. Well, I did the already from long time. I'm well, already. See, if we look at the context, Allah is speaking to someone who's sleeping. My friend, this is this is to Muhammad. Read with me. Go. Verse yeah, Muhammad one. is sleeping or something. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Sleeping or not, what's sleeping? Uh, 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 he is saying, uh, 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 or let us say Muhammad was sleeping. All right, but yeah, that will not change anything. Allah is saying to him, abandon the idols, and is speaking to Muhammad, not to the Muslims. How Muhammad was a prophet, and Allah is saying to him, abandon the island. The, 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 the idol. Simply, the, the answer is very simple. Muhammad, even when he was claiming to be a prophet of Allah. He was worshiping the idols, but when he found that there is no response from anyone to accept him as a prophet, he decided to decline those because it's not working anyway. And then he decided to follow the Jews. So he stopped doing Hajj. He stopped kissing the black stone. He started praying in the direction of Jerusalem. Then he noticed that he is wasting his time. The Jews and the Christians are not accepting him anyway. Muhammad he said in the hadith, if 10 Jews only accepted me, all the Jews will believe in me. He could not make even 10 Jews believe in him. So when he noticed that it's not working, he decided to go back to ar rajas which is the Kaaba and the Black Stone. For a long time, Muhammad, he did not do Hajj. And he did not pray in the direction of the Kaaba. What happened? Is the Kaaba is not important no more? 
why Allah did not say to him pray from the first day in the direction of the Kaaba it doesn't make sense why well, Allah says it was a big test turning that direction from no, no, uh, my friend this is not a test because at the end of the day it was Omar al-Khattab who said to Muhammad when 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 Muhammad he, he killed uh, he killed everybody he killed the Jews he kicked them out the Christians nobody there so the business is dying and Mecca is dying and now Muhammad and the Muslims they came and they control Mecca but nobody is coming no more nobody is coming so Muhammad in order to flourish Mecca again he decided to accept the advice of Umar al-Khattab and to make Mecca a place for Hajj as it used to be before Islam so Muhammad abandoned Mecca for a long time don't care actually even even the 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 Arab even after the Muslims took over the Kaaba still they were walking around the Kaaba naked and Muhammad he like a woman who was going naked around the Kaaba and Muhammad wanted her to be his wife and because of that yeah. he was jealous he decided to forbid people from going naked around the Kaaba just because of a woman right CP regarding the history I have a verse well I would like to know what your understanding is on that verse okay that's 47 13 that's chapter number 47 verse number 13 what about it what do you want to know like who's god speaking to in this verse and what god has destroyed uh you know if you if you go i, I mean uh, yeah when you as a muslim you try to understand the verse in the quran you will find that uh, there is no connection between any verses like what is the verse before it and the verse after it have to do with it nothing so if you are trying to understand you have to go there's a book it's called asbab al nuzul if we go there let me show you that's a joke that book is a joke well you have to because the quran is a very confusing book if i start guessing myself no no i would rather wait for the understanding and read the quran again and again rather going there, to such there is no book. And there is no understanding there you, can, you cannot you cannot come to understanding because the quran verses they are not connected it's like uh, somebody he found uh, 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 he went to a, like a, a junkyard and he start collecting parts and he put them together so Quran it does not make sense there is no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it so after the interpretation of the verse still you will not understand they are talking about who yeah so CP, i would just would like your literal understanding because i'm doing some research on this word so that's why i'm asking well what i what i think about uh, this uh, this thing here uh it's it's a plain sentence mean nothing and it just says uh those uh, you know who did uh, who is guided Allah, he will you know increase their guidance no, that's 47 13 i uh Right, just second. Which one is it? Forty-seven, thirteen, not seventeen. Oh, so, but it's still, it's still the same. <laughs> nothing. No, will... that that one's different than this okay, one. Okay, no problem. But it's still the same, my friend. Nothing, nothing will change. I, I understand what you are saying now, but it's still nothing will change. Let me let me show you. It is still it's the same. Uh... Okay, you know. Uh, uh, you know when when uh, when Muhammad he uh, he he left uh, Mecca. M Mecca is a is a village, right? Right. All right. So he left that village, and he is saying to them, uh, "Which one is more strong than the village which you are left of? We destroy them, but Mecca is not destroyed, is it? No. Did they did all the people of Mecca get killed? No." It's a no. the, the verse is making a mistake here because it says in Arabic, ahlan, ah, 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 which means you see the word ah, ahlaka, destroyed. It's yeah. mean yeah, destroyed and they are like not exist no more. Yeah. But as we know, when Muhammad he entered Mecca, there's only a few people he said they should be killed, and the rest he gave them a, 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 a burden, correct? Yeah. So the the verse here is not valid. Well, I believe that he went to different towns and started preaching. This could not be Mecca. Well, it says the the village you've been you you've been uh, taken out of, so it should be Mecca. Well, Mecca is the interpretation. Mecca is not destroyed. Mecca is still there, and never yeah, in the history. You are, saying, you are saying that no, Mecca is destroyed after Muhammad. Yes, but here 
the verse does not make sense. This is what I'm saying. Like you, uh, uh, you asked me about what the verse says. I said the, the, nothing yes. makes, makes sense. The verse. Well, before, my understanding is Muhammad went preaching into different cities other than Makkah and Medina, and those who rejected them were destroyed completely. That's how Islam spread in the Middle East. But my friend, Mecca is not destroyed. People of Mecca are not destroyed. And yeah, Mecca, but it doesn't speak of Mecca. It doesn't give city. Other cities, well, other strong well, cities. Well, you have to give me which city then. I mean, this is what I'm saying. The Quran is, is uh, uh, I don't want to be insulting, but this is stupid. I mean, shouldn't you tell me what you are talking about? Is it is this book is made for somebody live at that time so he can understand? Or this is a book is given to everybody? How someone, he lived today now, he was not there, he would understand what's happening. The one who is in, at that time exists, exist, he knew for sure, he, uh, he can confirm if this is Mecca or something else. But how somebody lived today in this time, he can understand what this is mean. So what's the point of this Quran? Well, I believe this verse goes against the history that's in the hadith that Muhammad was limited to Makkah and Medina and that's it. He died, you know, striving to get inside Makkah. By chapter 9, Muhammad was in Makkah, by the way. But they believe that he yeah, just but, but never made it to Makkah till he was about to die in his last two years or something. They just mock Muhammad in the hadith. My friend, the point is, this Quran is stupid. You are the one who quote for me the verse, right? Okay, if you go the verse before it, what the verse before it have to do with the verse after it? Nothing. Nothing. What 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 is it? What, what is the connection? Yeah, there is no connection with okay, the previous. Okay, so what, how this book is made? Well, uh, that's how Allah speaks. It's the word of God. What do you mean, no what do you mean Allah speak? You know, if you read the, all the verses before it, it doesn't make any sense. There, there is no connection. Every verse, every verse coming from the middle of nowhere. You know. You know, uh, 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 if if you uh, uh, if you read uh, as example verse number five, it says, "So you hidihum wa yuslihu balahum." Allah will guide them. How you are the one who said that already you guided the one you want, and you decide the one you want, and now you are saying in the future he will guide them. So you hidihum is he will in the future. It's a contradiction. And then you read the verse after it have nothing to do with the one before it and the one before it and the one before it you know it is it's just a, a guy trying uh, to collect junk trying to make a book and nothing more and look here yeah. in verse number two as an example the same chapter uh, uh, Allah making condition that whoever believe in what is sent to Muhammad right Allah will let their sin go, correct? Right. Okay, but this is mean here you have a free will. Because he's saying whoever believe in Muhammad, those who believe in Muhammad and what sent on Muhammad, which is the truth yeah. from their God, Allah, which is Quran. Yeah, See? Allah will delete their sin. Okay, but this is mean there's a reward. For something yes. good you do, okay. But this is contradiction for all what we spoke about before, that Allah He guide whoever He will, and Allah misguide whoever will, and there is no way to guide the one who Allah misguide. Well, my understanding is those who go against themselves and believe in the Quran and submit. No, my friend, my friend, no, no. If Allah already misguide you, you cannot guide the one who Allah misguide you. We agree about that, right? Well, at least one can try. It's up to Allah. After no, no, that. no. This is about Allah try. This is about try. Let us go to the basic. If you, if Allah is saying, the one I misguide, nobody can guide. It's confirmed that nobody can guide. Do we agree? Yeah, I agree. Nobody right. can guide. So you this guy, Allah. how this guy now? If we say to him, if you believe in Muhammad, Allah will forgive your sin. That would not work because already you say There's nobody can guide. Hope. There is always hope. My friend, you just agreed. Yeah, <laughs> you just agreed. That if Allah misguides somebody, nobody can guide him. True or yeah. false? Okay. True. So true. Let us, that say, is true. let us say this is talking about me. Okay. And yeah. now I saw this verse, and I decide to believe in Muhammad. All yeah. Right? Based on the Quran, I was misguided because Allah decided to misguide me. Do you agree? Yeah, it could be true. No, don't tell me it could be true. Is there yes or no? I can't really say yes because we, I don't have knowledge just, of Hanfi. So 
for the sake of argument, I would agree with you. Yeah, true. we just agreed a minute yeah. ago that yeah, Allah yeah. is the one who misguide, and the one he misguide, nobody can guide. So what yeah, the point of this can. verse? There's no point of this verse. He, the one he misguide, nobody can guide. So how nobody? It means nobody, nobody. That's it. So how this guy, if he believe in Muhammad, Allah will take off his sin? That is stupid because it's or it's mean that you guided him already. You are the one who guided him, and then. If you go to the verse we mentioned already, the one it says, so Yehudi whom we used to chapter 47, verse number five, he will guide them. But you are the one who said, the one he is guide, nobody can guide. And when you say nobody, it's mean even himself, he will not guide them. That's it. He didn't say, the one who I misguide, I might guide. He said, no one can guide. It's confirmed. It's final. So the whole Quran is just a collection of funny stories and doesn't make any sense. And look here. Chapter 4, 47, verse number 7. I'm just reading for you the verses you quote for me. Yeah. For the chapter. Oh, who you believe. If you if you support Allah, Allah support you. But this is a contradiction for if the, the one who Allah misguide. Nobody can guide. Why? Because if they support, Allah support. But Allah told us, on the other hand, that Allah guide, and the one He guide is the one who is the winner. He did not say, if you support, I support. He said, the one I guide is yeah. the victorious, and the one who I misguide, he will go to hell. So what the point of saying if you support Allah, Allah support you? Simply here, just Muhammad trying to make Muslims go and fight and die for his sake. Well, see, my answer would be if you go against yourself right now and believe in the Quran and do good deeds, and on the day of judgment, Allah would have no case against you to send you to hell. My friend, if he said already, the one he guide, even the prophet he cannot guide. The one who he de deceived, nobody can guide him. So what but is against you? What, if you don't you believe in yourself, you can go against everything and change. No, my friend, no, no, because it is a pre-made decision that you are misguided already. So how how you can change? You know, the, all, everything in the Quran confirm that you cannot change anything. Allah, He made a destiny for you. Whatever He decided for you, your fate is already written before He created you, and you cannot change that. And that faith is including your uh, age, your wealth, yeah. your belief, uh, uh, your act, your crimes, your deeds, anything you do. So you are not really a person who is making choices like, according to Islam. You are a person who is just a programmed machine and you do exactly as you are programmed. So how you can go against yourself when yourself is a software programmed and you do exactly what is written for you well it's all allah's will i would say yeah all, all, will. Okay. all i do is I, I try my best to avoid sins and be aware of allah and praise allah and do my best that that's all i can do that's the best i can you see, do you, you remember a verse that says Wama tasha una illa ma illa an yasha allah. yeah okay well what does that mean do you know that you do not will Allah wills if Allah wills. So <laughs> you just answer yourself. So you are saying to me, I just try. You are not trying anything. It is at the end of the day, it's Allah will. <laughs> well, if it's Allah's will. <laughs> what else no, no, can no, no, no. I, I really I, don't have answers for this question, CP. Right. To be honest, with you, I don't have. I'll be honest with you. Right. I'm not going to make up stuff or you know argue with you or something. I don't have answer. I'm honest with you. I, I understand. I understand. Uh, actually, this is why I'm talking to you. I'm not screaming at you like the others because you don't, you know, you just say what you believe and you like you take it, take it, but you don't play yeah. games. But here, you know, you, uh, 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 what uh, what the verse is saying that uh, anything, anything you decide to do, it's Allah who decided. It is not you. If you go as an example to chapter 6, verse 111, can you read it for yeah. me? Uh, which one? Chapter 6, verse number 111. 111. Hmm. 
Okay, it says, and even if we had sent down to them the angels with the message, and the dead spoke to them, and we gathered together every created thing in front of them, they would not believe unless Allah should will. But most of them are ignorant. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, so you will not believe it's if, unless it's Allah plan. Yeah, that's why I'm not arguing with you. <laughs> well, thank you very much for calling, my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah. Call me okay. again when you wish. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Take care. All right. Please. So do you see, guys, with the with the point, you will not believe unless Allah it's Allah plan, Allah will. So I, I, your belief is not your choice. So what's the point of this religion? The funny he is saying that I am the one who deceived them, and they will not believe unless I decide that they will believe. <laughs> so who is the one believing here? Nobody. It is a crazy, stupid religion. No, no, I did not mention the story of the baby because this gentleman, he don't believe in the hadith. That's why it's a waste of time. But the hadith, yes, the hadith says that even a baby who die in Islam, it doesn't matter if he commits sin or not. Allah, he wrote his, his fate before he created them. But I did not mention that because he don't believe in the hadith anyway. No? So you believe or you don't believe, it's Allah will. You accept Islam, you don't accept Islam, it's Allah will. You became a Christian prince or you not became a Christian, it's not your choice. I, I am a Christian prince based on this because it, it was Allah will. And then Allah will punish me for being Christian prince. But it was Allah will to make me Christian prince. Do you see how retarded this religion is? Like I will punish you for what I decide for you to do. The same as the story of Adam, if you remember. Where Adam, he have a debate with Muhammad, with the, with the, with Adam. Uh, sorry, with Musa. Uh, I can't see even the the, the board. It's it's night now. No, no, yeah. You see here. And the Fahih says that uh, uh, Musa and Adam they have a debate, and Musa accuse Adam that he because of him we are kicked out of heaven. Adam he won the debate just to make it short, and he said to Musa, "Are you going to blame me for a sin Allah created for me before, or he, he may you know he he, he decree for me before he created me? It's all the night for me. Do you see it? Are you going, uh, you know?" Are, are you are you going to blame me for something I did not do? My sin is not my work. Read it carefully. And Muhammad he said that Adam overcome Musa's argument. Read it carefully. Muhammad he took the side of Adam. Who is the winner in this debate? That this is not the fault of Adam, his sin. It is the sin of Allah. Musa says to him. Because of you, you are the one who got people out of paradise by your sin. So Moses believed in the original sin. And then, and you made that miserable, Adam replied, saying to him, Moses, you are the one whom Allah, he selected uh, for his message and for his direct talk, which means he spoke to him directly. Yet you blame me for a thing which Allah had ordained for me before he created me. What he ordained for him. Remember, Musa is blaming Adam for the sin which he kicked out from heaven. You see it? He is he is blaming him for the sin. Adam saying that my sin is ordained for me before Allah created me. So the whole story of mankind and God based on Islam is a stupid story. Adam is a victim. Adam should not be kicked out of heaven. It's Allah, stupid sin. Allah, he decided that Adam should do this. Then Adam, he do it, then we kick him out. Where is justice? Where is fear? Yeah, you cannot trust Allah. If Allah is a true God, this guy is, a, is an idiot. And I, if, you see, if Allah is a true God, a human being is gone. I mean, this is a, this is a joke. 
This is like Saddam Hussein on the office. He make you commit sin and then he punish you for the sin he made you do. How stupid that is. So now Adam, and look, Muhammad is saying that Adam, he won the debate. You see it? Adam overcome Moses by his argument. So who is the winner here? Adam. Obviously, Moses being stupid here. He did not understand Islam. And yet the Muslim, they claim that Moses is a Muslim. How Muslim he died? This was supposedly, this is the debate in the heaven. Which is funny because according to Islam, according to Muhammad, this is how liar he is. He said the first prophet Allah will resurrect from grave. It's going to be him. So what Adam and Moses doing there? Supposedly all the, uh, the, the prophets are dead except Isa. Suddenly now we have Moses and Adam, they are having a tea together. What Moses have to do with Adam? How they met each other? Where? In the, in the mall? In a Starbucks? How this conversation happened? Obviously, it's a fabrication of Muhammad. However, his fabrication is a clear evidence of his stupidity. Anyway, guys. It's time for us to finish for today. I hope you did enjoy uh, uh, this uh, time. Uh, I'm going to hide this video temporarily so people they can watch the previous video because that is more important. Two or three days from now, we will put it up again. But you want to download it, download, okay? I will leave it maybe for two hours, three hours. So you can download if you want. You can load it somewhere as you wish. Feel free, all right? Uh, you want to cut the pieces like this guy, the one who called me before, the idiot. The call me either want to give me a one scholar always when a Muslim say something to you tell him give me a scholar he agree with you and he will notice right away how they are terrified like rabbits they will not name a scholar and the funny this guy is calling me and supposedly he's prepared now because now he now he the, he know the question and now he searched the answer and now he quote for me a verse because supposedly he searched but he was not expecting me I'm going to investigate what he just said to me. He thought, this is what they do. He thought he can throw something and he get away with it. You don't do that with me. Anything you say to me, you have to be sure that I'm going to check it out and I'm going to take you accountable for what you said. You quote for me something, you are stuck until we find what that thing means from the Islamic books, not from a Christian press. Yet, they don't want that to happen because that will expose their lies. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. And don't forget to download the previous debate with Sheikh uh, Ruhi. And uh, if somebody knows Sheikh Ruhi address, please send him some flowers, send him some donation. I mean, the guy, he needs your help. This guy really, really needs your help, especially tonight. I hope he will wake up tomorrow and he will be fine. Uh, and I hope Allah will give him strength, all the strength he wants. Uh, thank you for being here. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe not only to the YouTube. We have Patreon, we have Facebook, we have uh, Minds.com, so you can be updated because I have many channels and we might lose any of them anytime. So what you need to do to stay updated, to know where you can subscribe to me, you know, having a new channel is easy. I mean, it take take a few minutes. It's not a big deal. We have many and we can create as many as we wish. Uh, and right away we will not lose anyone because we can get all those who follow us right away by one video just one video says I am here people will come not a big deal the Muslim they think they can fight us by doing this they can you cannot it's history and not only that my videos are not in one channel it's all over YouTube and this is the best thing we can do to spread the truth so I want to see all of you in downloading that previous debate it is not long I think it's uh, Maybe 35 minutes, you know, we keep short, maybe 40, I'm not sure. And load it all over. All right. Uh, now, tomorrow is Sunday. Uh, Sunday, I don't do a live broadcast, but I might do short one. We will see. All right. So if I didn't see you tomorrow, Sunday, please pray for me and pray for everybody who need, need your prayer. All of us, uh, all of us, uh, we need, we need uh, salvation by a God or by the God who believe and practice justice not God who play games 
God who play games is not God. This is the devil. He misguide me, and then he will deceive me, and then he will punish me for he deceive me. That is stupid. We are smarter than this. And 72 vagina, an endless penis. I mean, what is that, man? The heaven itself is, is, a, is like an open buffet for something disgusting. The heaven of Islam is not is not even an open buffet in a restaurant. Open buffet in the restaurant is a clean. You go, you grab some olive, you grab some shrimp. In the in the in the buffet of Allah, what you get? Women in dishes. You open the fig, you find a woman. Just get my book. The coming my, my coming book is going to be out in forty eight hours. Six and Allah in Amazon, and you will be amazed about how stupid the sexuality and the sex pro sex promises in Islam because there's many things you have never heard of they are going to be in the books and the reason I don't mention them usually because uh, let us say there's something to publish and there's something not yet uh, otherwise they will shut you down from the first day it's very dirty anyway and uh, not only that people you see the, the problem with the Christians when you speak in certain language they will say this is a guy he is not speaking as a Christian I have a problem with the Christians. I'm not saying that word. I'm just reading to you what this religion teach. But the Christians, right away, they will judge you. You know what I mean? They don't say that this guy, you know, oh, we are Christian. We should not speak this way, my friend. I'm not speaking that way. What I will, what, what I should say? If this is what their book saying, what I should say? You want me to put some makeup on it and change the meaning? Lie? They judge you. You know, they judge you right away. Anyway, thank you very much for being here, guys. Until I see you again, maybe tomorrow or for sure Monday, God is willing. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And the Abduls got busted starting from their shake to the small potato. See you soon again.